Ah. Uh, 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 I think I sent the uh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Mark, or uh, yeah, so Marcus is, of course, pointing out that this is a horrible thing. Elon is responding. Uh, Twitter is getting scammed by phone companies for $60 million per year of fake F2AS. Shut the fuck up. No, you're not, idiot. Paying $60 million a year from SMS text. Like, he's the only company in the world that has two step text verification. Twitter should definitely steer people to Authenticator app and their messaging of removing this feature. Most people just do SMS two factor because it's the easiest thing. Now, all those people accounts are less secure. Thank you, Mark Ass. Yeah. I love him, by the way. He's such a great guy. He was on our show a while ago. He's such a great guest, yeah. sweet guy, smart guy. He said he'd love to come back on anytime. Maybe it'd be a good time to check back in. Oh, uh, was that before the Will Smith? Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> I think it was actually Mark. He, that, he, it was a very early episode. I want to say it was like 2017, first year of the podcast. Ah. He's awesome. I have so much respect for him. 2018, January. God damn, that was a January long motherfucking time ago. Yes, indeed. Five years, eh? That conversation. I'd actually be curious to go back and listen to that because I'm pretty sure like an hour of that episode is you and him sucking Elon Musk, uh, Musk's dick. Yeah, you're right. That's <laughs> fucking funny. But I'm and now here right. we are talking about him arguing with Elon about oh. how he's doing a stupid thing and we all fucking hate Elon here. Hey, Lock listen, change five in, years uh, five can years. change a lot, man. That's yep. the story of my life. If I look back every five years, it's changed a lot. <laughs> this, this clip hit me real hard. This shit really shocked me. So this is Elon Musk. Okay. And I'm a huge fan of Elon Musk, of Tesla, and everything he does. I think he's a, an amazing person. I think he's like a modern-day, like, uh, Iron Man. He's Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk. <laughs> God, I'm fucking... Retarded. He's fucking Tony Hawk! The <laughs> guy skateboards like a monster. <laughs> What's the guy's name? Iron Man? Tony Stark. Stark. Tony Stark. I'm getting drunk. This is all. Tony Hawk. This is falling apart. Tony Stark. He's like a real life Tony Stark. I have so much respect and love for the man and what his vision is for humanity. But this broke my heart. This is really. This just goes to show you that no matter how rich and successful you are, your life's fucked up. At 38, Elon's running SpaceX and Tesla. He's got five boys. He's going through a very public divorce, and he's got a new fiance. There are a lot of, lot of resource conflicts when you have five kids. I don't have our kids. At any given point, somebody's taking somebody's toy. What's this game? Did you just take? Did you just take that from your brother? Yeah, but I didn't see what's in it. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> somebody took somebody's toy. Statistically speaking, one out of the, one out of the five. There's a good chance of being unhappy at any given point. I don't know how he handles the stress. I mean, if I was him, I'd have died of a heart attack. So this is a supermodel that he just met, that. like, I guess a month ago. He's going through a divorce. And, and he has to, to marry him? Yeah, and they're, they're engaged now. <clears throat> so those aren't her kids. Those are his previous okay. wives. He's going through a divorce right now. Kind of pain on, on your worst enemy. Elon proposed really quickly. <clears throat> The idea of being swept off your feet is appealing, and um, I'd probably have said yes to anyone that seemed half sensible if they proposed after 10 days, just because it's kind of an interesting thing to do. There, that's the first sign of problem. Mm -hmm. I would say yes to anyone who proposed to me after a day, because it's exciting. Mm -hmm. And he's sitting there listening to this shit, right? Like <laughs> he he's probably, probably loves it. This. He probably just loves being <laughs> yeah. put down. Like, he, you think he's into that? Yeah. <laughs> Dominatrix shit. <laughs> he loves being humiliated. But this shit gets real, like, you can see this hits him hard here. Um, you were about to say that. You know, obviously he moved straight into the house with the children and it became a very real thing immediately. My parents were traumatized by this whole experience. Although there's been so many times that, right, I'm getting on a plane to England and I'm never going to see you again. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, go back. <laughs> can you believe that? Go back. Maybe turn That's, up the volume. I can't. This video is oh. really low. And you okay. think you'd, Elon Musk would have, like, the f most futuristic house in the world. It's pretty ordinary. Like, I figured you'd have, like, fucking iPhones in your t in the floor. You <laughs> figure that Elon Musk wouldn't be marrying some, like, vapid ditz who's, like, shaming right, him exactly. on public television. 
into England and I'm never going to see you again. She says, I, I fantasize about leaving to England and Wait, never... Wait, do that again? Yeah. Well, yeah, just play a little more back. Yeah, let me go back more. An interesting thing to do. Um, do that thing, Dad. You know, obviously Dad, moved straight into the house with the children and it became a very real thing immediately. My parents were traumatized by this whole experience. Although there's been so many times that, right, I'm getting on a plane to England and I'm never going to see you again. Really? <laughs> no? There's been so many times I've said, I'm getting on wow. a plane to England and I'm never seeing you again. Really? <laughs> That's oh, crazy. That's pretty sad. That's super sad. And it's in this and show. Like, the way that she was walking out, where the fuck are you going? Yeah. I, I think oh, they, they filmed yeah. that after the scene. Because, you know, she doesn't even uh, look yeah, at her when she okay. walks out. Mm. Why'd they leave this in? Yeah. That's why? tough. <laughs> it's heavy. Well, that's a great moment if you're a filmmaker. I guess. But why did Elon even open himself up to make himself this vulnerable? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But watch his series. He's genuinely sad. <laughs> um... No, no, not really. No. Wait, are, Ouch, they, are they still together? Because people are asking, I wonder. Um, that's a really great question. Let's find out. Let me just get in my fucking future car. <laughs> Elon Take a ride. Musk, uh, fiance. I don't know if they got married yet. So I guess so, maybe. Shit. I mean, here, that's her, right? Think, or maybe that's his previous wife that looks just like her. <laughs> he just got a thing for girls that look like that. <laughs> Someone is saying they're not married still. I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, they're divorced here, 2013 and 2016. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, but they were married before that too. I guess they were together for a minute. Oh. No, this is a different girl. Oh, no. wait. Oh, my God. You're right. Oh, what? They got divorced. They were together for two years, divorced, together for three years, divorced oh. again. Damn. Fuck that bitch, <laughs> is what I'm saying. That's brutal. Elon Musk endured torture and married virgin. He met. Uh, Wait, what are you reading? Right there, the first uh, link down. It says virgin. <laughs> this one. Married virgin. Oh yeah. He met at a. Uh, what they do? <laughs> yeah. Married? Why? Why what? are we emphasizing virgin so heavily here? <laughs> Billionaire Elon Musk endured psychological torture from his father, told his first wife she was fired, <laughs> and then married the 22-year-old virgin he this met at a that. London club, telling her he wanted to show her his rocket. <laughs> what? This has got to be some tabloid yes. bullshit. Oh, That's Elon. a headline right He's there. He's badass. <laughs> You're I, fired. I feel bad for him. I didn't know anything about him, though. He could be a really shitty husband, <clears throat> to be fair. True. He could be a really shitty husband. I should well, have... I shouldn't call her a bitch and be That's critical true. of her. But that was a very rude thing to do on television. He's living mm -hmm. in the future. He has no time for the present. <laughs> Dude, he was very sad. And all the iPhones in the floor in the world couldn't make couldn't, up. Couldn't even couldn't make forget that sadness. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It's a great video. That's everything. That's not a great video, but it's fascinating. But it it's is. a fascinating, it's fascinating video. Fascinating. That's pretty bad, man. Your Outlook account are set out of date. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let it be known. <laughs> All right, this is turning into a disaster. I feel bad. I have this bad habit of calling women, like, bitches sometimes when I'm referring to them. I don't like doing that. Mm -hmm. rap I always so, tell Ethan not to do it. Rapper. But I was, like, angry at her. Yeah, but... She was being bitchy. <clears throat> I think she was being yeah. bitchy. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she's not a bitch. She but was. She's acting bitchy. Thank you. <laughs> I agree with that. I don't think you should beat yourself up over that one. <laughs> Thanks, oh man, this story is awesome. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I love this guy, man. Elon Musk. I would probably, if he was like, "Yo, Doug, here's my dick. I need you <laughs> I to fucking shine." I knew where this it. was going before you said it. I wasn't. You thought I was gonna say suck. <laughs> he wants me to shine it and manicure it. <laughs> He's like, I need you to manscape my genitals. And I'd be like, cool. I don't require payment. <laughs> I love the guy. Some people hate him. I don't know why. He's like the real life Tony Stark. Right. He really is. <laughs> I mean, come on. The guy's yeah. incredible. Yeah. He's, he's, he's pioneered commercial space travel. Opens the doors for so many things. The guy has made driving electric vehicles cool All to right. the point where he made a profit and now he's making them consumable. The Model 3. 
Mark my words, in two or three years when that shit is, goes into mass production, you're going to see that all across the country. People say, people always say, oh, oh, well, electric vehicles are just as wasteful as gas. Oh, I've got a fucking stick in my ass and I have to complain and be sour and, contra- and contrary about everything. Not true. Solar City. Look, He's even got that. I'm getting to the rest yeah. of his accomplishments. If you have a if you have a car without an exhaust, let's get it. Let's just put aside the question of it, you know production and making new cars, whatever. Yeah, people are always making new cars. Okay, forget about that. Even if producing the electricity now from a freaking coal plant is just as polluting as putting gasoline in your car, first of all, gas. You can, as solar and wind and all these renewable energies that don't give off any pollutants become more, you know, cost effective as they do every year. You have the option to plug that shit into your car. Yeah. You plug that in from the outlet to your car. Okay. Coal, gasoline. You can't do that, dude. And if you think that in 100 years we're still going to be doing gas, if you think that's just an option forever, get fucking real. Ten years. (laughs) <laughs> ten ye- I give it 10 years. I give it 10 years too. <clears throat> but people are like, oh, it's just as polluting to make an electric car. And every- everyone's always talking about, oh, it's inevitable, electric cars. Nobody's done it. Nobody stepped up to the fucking plate and risked their ass to do it until he did. He's the guy who did it, man. Seriously. When electric mm-hmm. cars are fucking everywhere, he's going to be the guy who did it. I mean, I'm trying to... Really took- a huge risk with his all his money, right? When yeah, he absolutely. In, he invested in it, and it didn't go well in the beginning. <laughs> Everybody said it was going to fail. Mm-hmm. The regulators were against him. They, they still don't let him have dealerships. He sells yeah. direct. That model doesn't exist almost in car manufacturing. You have to go to the website and buy it. You have to wait like six months to get yeah. the car. That's how good of a product and how good people want it. You know, it's insane that the odds were stacked against the guy. And beyond that, and also just for the record, the electric vehicle has an effective 100 miles per gallon right now. So fuck off, haters. (laughs) Don't ever step to me again. (laughs) Don't ever talk to me or my hair again. (laughs) Don't talk to me or my Elon. Don't ever talk to me or my Elon again. And and then and then furthermore, he has this company, Solar City, which just got absorbed into Tesla. It's one company now. But the guy, let me show you this shit. I mean, Tesla. weren't weren't both company his or companies his? So <clears throat> yeah, but they. I don't know why they absorbed it all into Tesla. I think what happened was his cousin or someone had um oh, okay. was so a maybe. co-founder of mm-hmm. of Solar City, and he just absorbed it. Okay, okay, look at this. Look at this house. You want to know what the fuck's going on with the future? Look at this house. Look, ordinary deal. These shingles here are. S- oh my God! Don't th- <laughs> click here at the chat. Should I talk to this guy. No. These these roofing that you see here is solar panels, you guys. S- that's solar power. That's powering the house, charging the car, <clears throat> completely off the grid. Mm-hmm. Okay. And his goal with this is to make it better looking. More durable, durable, and cheaper, and che- and eventually cheaper, so that it's like people don't even have the choice, and it looks amazing. Do you see this guy? He's fucking changing the world. Like people always talk about it, like it's inevitable. This guy's doing. How does it. one guy do all this? It's crazy. He's amazing. He's 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 like uh, he's he, a Newton. He's, he's a, Einstein. a superhero. He's he's these once in a hundred. <laughs> One, right, once yeah. in a thousand year guy who who rolls around and just you know beats and fucking beats the shit out of the earth. You know, I I have so much admiration. I don't know, I man. I have a friend who's like, I don't like him. I don't trust him. I'm like, dude, yeah. why are you hating? <laughs> one of our best friends. I get so triggered. <laughs> it's funny. He's got no fucking. He... <laughs> There's no basis to the hate. He just don't. He just hates him. So he, I'll tell. You, so here's his beef with him. He's working on this other project called um, The Boring Company. He says, again, he, this is Elon. He sees a huge problem. 
traffic in Los Angeles. Traffic, as you know, if you don't live in Los Angeles, not everybody knows the traffic is impossible. If you've never been here, it's hard to believe how bad it is. Yeah. I thought coming from Tel Aviv, I thought Tel Aviv had like horrible traffic. It's, it's a joy. Oh my God, it's nothing compared to here. Just give me an idea to ride, to drive like 20 miles, it takes like an hour during the day. There's, we sometimes just consider not going places because of traffic. Right. Like it's one of the, it's how you make decisions here. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's funny because if you go somewhere like past 11 when the traffic's gone, it'll take you 15 minutes to get somewhere where it will act- literally take you an hour or more during yeah. the day. So he's like, okay, traffic. What's up with traffic, right? So the dude is drilling fucking tunnels under the freeway to transport like a super highway for cars. So it the, your car drops under in a highway. And it goes on like a conveyor belt, and they blast you at high speed. I, you know, there's a video about it. You could. Yeah, let me show. It's interesting it to see. Boring company video, and it blasts you at high speed. Here, watch this video. This is great. Those tunnel tunnels look pretty wild. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's pretty wild. It's actually not what I expected. The yeah. way that it works. So there's basically platforms you drive onto, and it lowers you underground, and it just bla- and then here you go. There's like super highways underground that bypass the traffic and the roads, and it launches you at like 100 plus miles per hour, and then it lifts you up. Um, so the car is not even no, yeah. The car doesn't run. It's on a platform. You're not even putting mileage on your car. Right. Oh, it goes 200 kilometers per hour. That's like, yeah. That's fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. The future is so not what people imagine in some ways. In some Flying ways cars. Because when you look at, like, the future, yeah, you imagine stuff in the air. Yeah. You don't actually imagine digging Under into the it. earth. Yeah. So... My, my favorite part about all of this is that he called it the boring company. Yeah. It's so genius. So good. <laughs> um, anyway, it's just an idea, obviously. He did start drilling. He's he, Look, people are saying, oh, it's not happening, lol. People always said that to Elon. You think Elon's going to listen to you haters? <laughs> look at this shit. Boring company drill. He already built a fucking one-of-a-kind. Well, even cutting... if it doesn't happen, at least the guy is trying. Tell me it's not happening. Look at these pictures. Try to tell me this shit's not happening. Look at this fucking drill. Oh my that's god. That's that picture. Here. <laughs> this is how it works. It's like this crazy state of the art drill. Wow, it's not happening. Look at them lowering the drill into a pit. <laughs> Look at this. It's not happening, they says. It's not happening, they says. Get real. If Elon wills it, <laughs> then it happens. Well, anyway. Our friend was like, oh, I don't like this because it's like class warfare. All the rich people get a super highway. And all the poor people have to be on the freeway. I'm like, dude, stop. That still means less people on the freeway, first of all. Less traffic on the freeway. And, oh, my God, toll roads already fucking exist, dude. Yeah. Stop! (laughs) Anyway. I'm going to be honest. We got a Tesla recently. We're leasing a Tesla. (laughs) I'm not into having nice cars. I never was. We had a Prius. That was all I ever wanted. But it's more about just like fucking supporting this this movement that I love about going eco-friendly. It's sick. I mean, I I like the car. The car is dope. I really like it. But it's like there's no exhaust pipes on the car. Mm-hmm. You plug it in in your garage. You wake up every morning with a full tank of gas. It's cool, man. I like it. Well, how do you like the Tesla? I actually really like it. It's funny. I thought that it was like so unnecessary because we had the Prius, and I right. was like, "Why do we need this?" And I thought it, it's just gonna be another car, but it's actually really cool. And I'm not obviously this is not like a paid. Anything. I'll take That's his just, money. Anything. <laughs> but it is really cool. They make some new stuff that 
I never thought of before, like the gas and brake in one oh, paddle. I love that so much. I don't know if you want to explain it. So they have what's called um, one pedal driving. This is actually one of my favorite features. Yeah, mine too. So unexpected that I would love it. Because at first it's really awkward and weird. Mm -hmm. So the gas pedal, (laughs) when you take your foot off the gas, it breaks. Essentially, it breaks. You still have the brake too. Yeah, because sometimes you need to like slow down fast and, you know, whatever. You have a brake. But it's pretty intense when you take your foot off the gas. So 90% of the time, I don't even need the brake. Yeah. So, and it's used to regenerate energy for the battery, too. And also, I've just noticed that it it's so much more immediate when you're braking it's, or slowing down that it feels a lot safer. I think so. When, I'm, when I drive our Prius now and I take my foot off the gas and it's almost like... It, you gl- it, keep gliding at the same speed. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Because if you need to react immediately... There's a few t- seconds. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. And then you know you know, Elon's not satisfied just to make an electric car. The self-driving, he's like, let's sprinkle that shit in there too. <laughs> and it works amazingly. Right. This morning I was having a little breakfast in the car. You put on auto drive in the traffic and like, <laughs> I'm good, dude. I eat my, my breakfast, my coffee. I've got it on auto drive. It's sick. It feels safe because the car's so responsive. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. But more than that, I just like supporting the, the movement. It's obviously an expensive car. I think when the Model 3 comes out, which is the, it's like more than half the price of that one, then I'm going to get I can't wait for those solar roofs to become like the mainstream thing. Dude, they, they're available. But now it's, it's probably expensive. expensive. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's expensive as fuck. But, you know, he's out there. He's shaking his dick, man. But in Israel, the, almost everyone had, well, not everyone, but a lot of the, the majority of the houses have solar heater for the water Mm -hmm. so when you shower and you take a hot water (coughs) you know a hot shower you turn on the or i mean if it's if it's in the summer you don't need to turn it on because it's always hot from the sun and i've always loved that like it's just such a simple great thing it's so weird if it's sunny you have hot water it's after being in israel for five years it's crazy to think that that's not a thing in america yeah, and it's always been in, I don't know why. It's such a thing. Like, you, if you ever get a shot from above, you'll see that every roof has a solar panel, every yeah. single one. And I read a report that it cuts down on, like, 6 or 8% of energy consumption from the country's power grid. That's significant. Yeah, in L.A., that would work. Maybe. Anyway, we're, we're, we're getting there. It's inevitable. I see more and more solar panels every day when I'm driving through L.A. So, Elon... I got your back, dude. <laughs> I got your dick. <laughs> I don't know if he wants that. <laughs> but he does scare me. And this gets into the point I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Elon's starting to freak me the fuck out because he's talking about AI. He's been in the news a lot talking about the dangers of artificial intelligence, saying that it poses a greater threat than North Korea. This is the greatest existential crisis we've ever faced as a species that we need to start regulating it like um, drugs and weapons and stuff like that. Yeah, he said something like, if you're not worried about AI, you should be. Right. And it's like, oh, shit. Um, I wasn't worried about it until you said it. <laughs> I, I know. But, but, but hearing a guy who I trust and admire talk about it like that kind of does spook me a little bit. So then... <clears throat> Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg, my favorite person who represents my favorite company, Cancer Book, started talking shit on my boy Elon. And I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? (laughs) Zuckerberg, I don't like Zuckerberg. I don't like his company. I don't like his stupid smarmy face. And I don't like other things about him. (laughs) He says about Elon. Basically... Our main reason is freebooting on Facebook, right? Among many. Among many. Facebook Other is, is stuff, one of the most... That's uns- just like the... It's, it's the best example of how they do business I think on so. Facebook. Yeah, I think so. The fact that they let that go and they reward people who do it and pay them is really representative. Mm-hmm. But they're one of the most unscrupulous, disgusting companies, I think. The way they farm data... They don't, they've done experiments on people trying to manipulate their mood. 
yeah. to try to sell them products. They'll show them posts that they know will make them sad so they can sell them Kleenex or whatever <laughs> or Prozac. Or ice cream. Or ice cream. So then Mark Zuckerberg starts getting butthurt at Elon and he says um, – he says that Elon is being irresponsible and ridiculous. He said this publicly in a live stream about Elon. He calls it fear-mongering. And Elon later responds, I've spoken to Zuckerberg about it, and his understanding, understanding on the topic is limited. Ouch. Fucking, that's like that high-level <laughs> CEO burn. That's like an AI talking about us. Right. <laughs> his un- that's that's a. <laughs> That's spot on. His it's understanding limited. is limited. And to be fair, you run Facebook, dude. What the fuck do you do except mine my data? I'm going to put a dick pic on Facebook so Zuckerberg can mine it. <laughs> and so uh, apparently – and also ironically, Zuckerberg's the one who's like, oh, this guy's fear-mongering. Fuck this guy. We spoke about it a couple weeks ago. Facebook is the one who created these chat bots. Right. And they invented their own language. <laughs> that they, yeah. To start communicating with each other and broke the protocol that was designed for them and had to be shut off. Yeah. <laughs> and he's the one being like, oh, you fear mongering. He's the one developing Skynet in his basement. And so there's actually the beef goes even deeper. And I love this whole story. It's great. It's a, it's a classic story of good versus evil in my mind. <laughs> so SpaceX. Forget about YouTube drama. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, this is on a whole nother level. SpaceX was uh, Elon's space company, uh, was responsible for launching one of their internet beaming satellites on the Falcon 9 rocket that blew up upon launch. It was one of their failed launches. And that was Facebook's satellite that was going to go fly over Africa and give everybody free access to the internet, known as Facebook's free basics. And so that satellite got blown up when the when the Falcon 9 failed to launch and exploded. Mm-hmm. Um, Marx said about that, as I'm here in Africa, in my ivory tower, in my palace in Africa, and I have an African beautiful woman fanning me with a palm leaf, and feeding me grapes like Jabba the Hutt. All right, get on. I'm <laughs> deeply disappointed to hear that SpaceX launch failure destroyed our satellite that would have provided connectivity to so many entrepreneurs and everyone else across the continent. And yesterday you had a little heart attack, right? When what? When your phone beeped and you got a Twitter notification. Oh, God. <laughs> this was so fucked. <laughs> so I'm on my phone last night preparing for this podcast today. And on Twitter, it says, Elon Musk followed you back. <laughs> and this wasn't no fake shit. Like, it's, it was verified Elon Musk, at Elon Musk, followed you back. And I was like, Elon, wait. She was talking to him like, Elon, stop. <laughs> Open Twitter. And, man, I don't know if I got goofed, if it was a bug, if he had, like, accidentally followed me and then unfollowed me. <laughs> Broke my heart, man. He's, he didn't follow, basically. So you think that he... No, I'm just saying for the people listening. No, he's not tick, currently tick. following me. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think happened? Because I'm 100% sure I saw Elon Musk follow you back. If you're sure that it said that he followed you back. It said that. So I think maybe he followed you by mistake and then unfollowed because he didn't know. Like he clicked on it by mistake somehow. Oh, man. He's breaking my heart, <laughs> Well, I he saw know. my profile. <laughs> He's pretty much my, probably my number one most desired guest. (laughs) The guy is deep into everything I care about. He's at the heart of it. And let me tell you this about Elon. He's fascinating. (laughs) Fascinating. 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 Thank you, Dan. Elon Musk, who I still love and who's an angel, and I'm going to put him in this thumbnail with a halo and a glow around his silhouette. Do you understand? (laughs) I don't care about your respect. I just want Elon's dick in my mouth. So Elon Musk is leading a collective of 116 experts calling for an outright ban on killer robots, weaponized robots. Um, Open letter signed by Tesla chief and Google's uh, CEO, 
um, urges the UN to block use of lethal Why don't autonomous... you put it on the screen so we can... Oh, yeah, I'll open this. Read it you with know what? You. That's some high-level shit, Yula. <laughs> so essentially what's going on, this is not really so much about, like, artificial intelligence as it is... Well, I guess it is. It's weaponizing, like, advanced computers and, and AI. And they're basically saying in this article, this collective, that we need to regulate this shit before we usher in a third wave of weaponized combat. Mm -hmm. well, it's like first you had like modern warfare, then you had nuclear bombs. And they're saying that this third wave of AI machine fueled uh, warfare is going to is going to be even worse than all of those. So this is pretty scary stuff. It's the shit you see in movies. It's, <laughs> it's happening. Okay. I'm telling you, listen to him about everything. Listen to Elon about everything. <laughs> I've lost all respect for you, Ethan. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm fucking kidding. And even if I wasn't, chill out. All right. Let me show you some memes here. This thing, you guys know I love sucking Elon discs, Elon Musk's dick. I wonder if he has any like cybernetic improvements to his penis. Definitely. Because he's about... Without you know, a question. I mean, he's the... He's Mr. Cybernetic going to the future. He's got a... Must have a robotic dick that's just hard all the time. You Can, can you imagine that if you put your dick in and you're like... You're like, how's that, baby? She's like, a little wider. Push a button, your girth, like, increases. It's too much, a little bit less. She's like, that's right. I'm telling you, ladies. Every, all the ladies out there are like, what up? All the guys, too. Elon, where are you at? Look at this. <laughs> Here's a picture of Elon on a zip tie. She kills me. All right, Elon, this is called a zip line. And the humans, they enjoy this? They enjoy it very much, Elon. Then I shall enjoy it as well. <laughs> Look at his fucking face. It's like, he's so unamused by it. He totally is like a Data-esque Star Trek character. Then I shall enjoy it as well. I don't, whoever made this meme is incredible. I love the di the, how dry the dialogue is. They enjoy it very much, Elon. <laughs> Had to share that with you, as I am a chronic Elon Musk dick rider. With his girth, with his girth, um, his girth customization. I need that girth customization upgrade. Let's fucking get right into some shit. Now, y'all know that I love sucking Elon Musk's dick. And as we touched on previously, his dick actually expands and contracts. He has a cybernetic cock. So maybe some girls like it like a chode. Some like it like a noodle. Elon can accommodate all of your needs. Because his dick is like a... It's like a balloon. You fill it up with more schmutz and it gets fatter. I've heard this through the grapevine. He's very satisfying sexually. Um, anyway... So he was dropping bombs on Twitter, bro. Um, USA Today. Here, let me show you this picture. I love this. This is why I love Elon, all right? USA Today tweets out, Mercedes makes a $1 billion bet it can take down Tesla. It's like this whole big thing. Mercedes. Apparently, all, a lot of the car companies, Volkswagen, I heard, are investing a ton of money into electric vehicles. And I think it's smart. I mean, it's clearly... Whether you believe in global warming or not, it's clearly just, like, a better way to fuel a vehicle, right? It's like, it seems like the future. So everyone's putting down money on that. And um, Elon responds, that's not a lot of money for a giant like Mercedes. Wish they'd do more off by a zero. Love it. But, so here's the great part. Next day, they tweet out this. Da damn near, I guess these, these guys own Mercedes. You're absolutely right, Elon Musk. Here's the missing zero. Investing $10 billion in next generation EVs and $1 billion in batteries. Got him. He just says good. Can you believe this fucking guy? You know what? I don't suck his dick enough. I don't give him enough credit. Tesla, recently, they, they made all of their patents public. Like, they released all of their technology publicly to anyone who wants to use it. Because they're trying to generate... The EV market. I, I mean, I, I get the reasons why. I think you, it's like a, they've made the best progress in converting our existing infrastructure to, you know, co accommodate electric vehicles. But it's a huge undertaking and they need help to do it. I think he's smart in knowing that competition in this area is, is, is only going to help them. Because they need charging stations. 
They need infrastructure. You know, like this shit costs money, man. It's incredible what they've achieved just with the Tesla. You can drive from L.A. to New York now and charge all along the way. Not stop at a gas station once. God bless him. The guy's dick, it goes from one inch diameter to 12 inches. I mean, it goes all the way up to 12. I don't know anyone that would need that, but I'm just saying if the option's available. That's what a great guy is. All right, so that's my daily Elon Musk dick sucking. For those who listen to the podcast, know that I'm a little bit of an Elon Musk fanboy. <laughs> I put his dick in my mouth regularly, and I see how deep I can get it. Yeah. Are you a, are you a fanboy? I'd say I'm a Tesla fanboy for sure. Not an Elon fanboy. Well, I can't bet against Elon. Yeah, I'm an Elon fanboy, I guess. Because <laughs> I, I follow most of what he does. So Elon Musk, most of you probably heard the news that SpaceX has basically revolutionized space travel. By, first of all, what they did is they invented a rocket that can not only launch into outer space with cargo, but it can land itself and save the actual rocket for reuse. NASA, for example, they used to launch it into space and the rocket would come crashing down to Earth and was just complete garbage. It would cost them like $80 million per launch. And mm-hmm. what's, what SpaceX has done is literally cut the cost in half. It cost them $40 million to launch. And the cargo capacity has doubled. And what they've done recently is prove the concept. So, so Elon, being the showman that he is, he's got the song, he's got the dance, he's a, he's, a, he's a god. He took his original Roadster, which is the first generation of Tesla cars, which is an extremely heavy car, and put it in this rocket with a, a rocket man in a spacesuit in the driver's seat and webcams and shot it into space. One of the most spectacular and coolest things I've ever seen in my lifetime. That was obviously just a stunt. It was a PR. It was a marketing move. The real intention was to prove the concept of this new rocket they had that could launch twice as much cargo and land itself and cost half as much. Done by a private company. NASA has been left in the smoke. And NASA is now paying SpaceX to bring their cargo to the International Space Station. So first of all, before we get into the controversy let me just show you some pictures because they are absolutely breathtaking i mean this is this for example is a real picture this is a real picture yeah it's crazy this is unbelievable this is the coolest shit ever (laughs) and it was also playing on the radio spaceman by david bowie i love that (laughs) like the guy has got it all he's got it all he is a p- marketing genius. And and frankly, look at this photo. <laughs> it's crazy that um, two million people were watching this live. It was one of the uh, most watched live streams ever. I think it had like 2.1 million concurrent viewers. Unbelievable. Look at this photo. This is a real photograph. This is a real photograph. Look at that flat earth right there. <laughs> yeah, don't get into that. Listen, if you're willing to Good buy point. the lies of a private company like SpaceX, then I, I don't have help for you, sheep. <laughs> this is a real photograph. That that just, I don't know, blows my mind personally. There's so many excellent photographs from the live stream. Look at this one. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? The reflection of the earth on the hood of the roadster? Mm-hmm. So essentially, most everyone is like, this is great. This is super cool. I feel like this is, in in a weird way, a, a real big achievement for humanity and for space exploration and space industry. Well, of course, anything great and cool doesn't come without the contrarians, the haters, the people who just want to complain and say, you can't say marijuana, you have to say the M word now. <laughs> I have a feeling it's the same exact people. So here's the whiners and the contrarians. First, let's start with, uh, what was it, Salon? Yeah. Now... There's actually a great little rabbit hole here on their website. You click, you go to Salon, and they say, you have ad block. And, I mean, that's fair enough. They don't want you to use ad block. They, but then this, this kind of weirded me out. They says, we would like to use your computing power. You can support Salon.com by allowing them to use your processor for calculations. The calculations mm. are currently executed in your browser sandbox. <laughs> you don't need to install anything. This is a fucking they're, virus. Don't click it. Bro, it is they're a, like, it's a Trojan we, virus. Can we install a Bitcoin mining <laughs> virus on your computer? Because you have ad block? No. This is a scam. No. What? Is you can't. This? So anyway, it's a spyware. Yeah, don't click that. Look, I don't I don't condone using ad block. We have to do it for the sake of the show. 
whatever. I, I have it whitelisted on YouTube, but I found that interesting. But here's one that we can actually read from The Guardian. <laughs> and it is called, Why Elon Musk's Space Launch is Utterly Depressing. Ugh. I am utterly depressed. <laughs> I am I am so joyless. Honestly, Elon Musk, reconsider, all right? I am <laughs> utterly and, and absolutely <laughs> devastated by this launch. It's frankly mm. ruined my entire year. I wish Elon Musk put this fucking writer in the, in the car instead of the little <laughs> space ass yeah. Yeah. By the way, the title of the other Salon one that wants to install Bitcoin mining virus on my computer <laughs> was uh, Why Elon Musk's Space Launch Was a Slap in the Face to Real Science. As if you're someone to quantify what real science means. It's not real science to fucking invent a new rocket. <laughs> that can land itself and launch a car That's into outer real space. Kind of science. That's not real science. Real science is writing a complaining article on the internet and posting. Real science is installing <laughs> a bloatware to mine bitcoins. That's real science. Real science. So hard to impress. What can you say? What? I'm a journalist. I know what's real science. A journalist for a salon, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Oh, I, I write. Yeah. I read Wikipedia for a living. Uh, Unlike Elon Musk. But the worst thing is that's like an op-ed. It's not even like a factual. You're not even reporting the news. You're just saying I don't like Elon Musk because he launched a fucking new kind of rocket into space. What and an then it came back down. What a prick because he didn't. Uh, we'll get into why they, they're upset. So anyway, yeah, this one's it. called. He, this guy's utterly depressed. Elon Musk is right. Silly and fun things are important, but some of them are indefensible waste of resources. They are beyond Silly defense. and fun. Silly and fun. So, uh, so here's the opening I paragraph. I feel like this kind of criticism would make sense if you just did it to, for no purpose, just to throw his car in there, you know. Yeah. But no, Which, but no, but even then, it's his own money. He can fucking do whatever he wants. He can launch a rocket into the yeah, sun. Yeah, but then you can at least I, kind of, yes. you know, criticize yes. it. But I, but, but, his... but the car was like the secondary. Well, it was a PR thing. But my point is, if he, if this guy, what? Look, this guy's. Uh, how much is he worth? Billions of dollars, obviously. Like five billion. The fact that he's even investing in space at all, at all, I think I, I don't. It's his money. He earned it fair and square. He can literally, he can invent a giant toilet and swim around the side of it. I don't care what he does. <laughs> I don't care what he does with his I hope money. He does that. <laughs> Zach, when you're a billionaire, um, I can't wait to see what you number one on the list. To. Giant toilet. Um, I I I, feel I don't like, know. I that's think that's, like, I think that's a pretty fair thing to say. Your your point is like even higher level than what we need to I, say. I, no, I know. I'm saying a uh, bare, yeah. mi- bare minimum, bare minimum. <laughs> so you have that defense, right? Second right. of all, he's testing the concept. He had to put something there. This person says. One, on Wednesday, two things happened. In Syria, 80 people were killed by the government airstrikes. Meanwhile, in Florida, Elon Musk fired a sports car into space. Guess, one, guess, guess which story has dominated mainstream media news sites? Of course it's did! It's way more remarkable! I'm sorry to say, but people die in Syria a lot. There's a lot of saturation of stories like that, and a car's only ever been launched into space one time. And it's a pretty incredible feat. Why should he not have any more airtime? Like, I'm not trying to trivialize the deaths of people in Syria, but what? just because one dude's starving, like I had a friend. He says, oh, there's a there's a famine in Uganda, and he's launching cars into space. Just because some dude in Uganda doesn't have a sandwich doesn't mean that Elon Musk can't simultaneously launch a, a, a advanced space exploration. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that advancing the human race and also not feeding everybody is not good enough for you. I'm we, sorry. I'm like, really, like I'm really They're, they're not mutually that. exclusive. Like, Elon Musk doesn't need to worry about feeding people in Uganda before he launches a car into space. That's not how, like, collective minds work. Also, on a bare level, this guy's made PayPal. He fucking had, had <coughs> Tesla. I mean, the Hyperloop, SpaceX. This guy's one of the most accomplished human beings. I, like, I know he gets a lot of, you know, uh, uh, patting on the back online, but he deserves it. I think he gets a lot of shit too. He gets by a lot of shit too. But like my, my point is, if you make, if you're responsible for that many amazing things, I, I just it. What the fuck does that have to do with people getting airstriked <laughs> in Syria? I, I, they're not related. <laughs> I like, I, I, like, are we not supposed to celebrate anything by no. this person's, no. like, Elon yeah. Musk had an incredible achievement once in a lot. We've never seen anything like it before. The most exciting thing since people landed and walked on the moon. Are we not allowed to celebrate anything? Simultaneously, 80 people died in Syria. Let's just fucking be sad and depressed all the time. Let's not celebrate everything. When, when there's one tragedy anywhere on the planet, we need to obsess with that and never have any joy in our lives. <laughs> And by the way, how many, how many people were dying on Earth when the moon landing happened in 1969? Well, you know what? That was just a tra- – like, and, and, and the moonwalking was a slap in the face to real science everywhere, Zach. And we – please, the M word. You know, moon is, is offensive to, to, the, 
to the uh, Chinese who built the railroad, who made moving the parts on the rock on the shuttle possible. The M word. Okay, it's all true. Hundred <laughs> percent. I feel like you could trace the roots back of anything enough to like oppression. It's like, yeah, dude. For the 1920s, everything was built by just throwing minorities suffering at shit. Don't say train. Chinese built the tracks back then. It's it's very racist. It's basically the same thing. Which which one's more remarkable? The biggest thing to happen in space exploration since like the fucking what nineties, or people being airstriked in Syria, which has been happening for the last ten years. I it don't, so what? It just it's not a point. And and another point that I that I saw was like he could have launched a bunch of little satellites a, a, into orbit. He could have asked NASA and they would have given him a bunch of little satellites to monitor weather. It's like cool that could have done one thing, but he could have also had like the greatest media PR stunt of all freaking time. I guess people are looking at p- pictures of space. They're interested in space exploration. It's it's everybody's I'm... talking about SpaceX. It's brilliant. Now so... now Jeff Bezos from Amazon also has a space company. I love this. Blue Origin. I think Elon Musk started this. Absolutely. He, did. he he wants a space race and he's getting it. I think it's great. I think a space race is exactly what we need. But this idea that he's yeah. that Elon Musk is obligated to solve all of the world's problems at once or is not allowed to solve any of them at all is so fucking naive. And it's just self contrary because Elon Musk would have never got to the point where he is if he cared more about feet giving people in Uganda <laughs> sandwiches. Like he is an inventor. He's a technologist. He's he's a He's an innovator. This is what he does. This is but why he he's does, gotten to the point. He does stuff to help, too. It's not like... Maybe. We, I don't know. But he's not obligated well, to. Yeah. I, I, that's what I'm saying. He's not obligated. It's his own money. He got rich off his own genius. He didn't inherit anything, to my knowledge. He seems like a smart guy. He's a self-made billionaire. No, he didn't inherit anything. He came here as an immigrant from South Africa. Right. And, and he, I mean, again, the Hyperloop, PayPal, all these other things that are happening. And you're pissed off because he didn't launch a bunch of little fucking tiny satellites in space? <laughs> Shut up. Personally, I take the Roadster. I'll take the Roadster but over when, a million if little you, satellites. If you have two parallel universes where one, he shoots the little satellites and one, <laughs> he shoots the Roadster. Maybe those little satellites collect some some data for NASA and shit and we get some interesting data and that's cool. And and it probably doesn't amount to much more than that, right? And then maybe the Roadster leads to Jeff Bezos and another billionaire or and other governments entering a new space race to try to cut down on the cost because SpaceX now has a monopoly on sending cargo to space because it's so much cheaper. And all the governments in all the world are paying SpaceX. So China's all of a sudden, or, or Jeff Bezos is like, hey, I want to compete with this space. And they start building shit and it gets cheaper. And all of a sudden, you've got all this fucking infrastructure in space. You've got all this stuff invested in space. And then let's say in 50 years, a meteorite comes plunging towards the Earth. And all of a sudden, because of his fucking roadster in space, we've got all this shit in outer space from this highly developed business. And we're able to, to divert its trajectory because of all the space stations and shit we have in space and 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 it and 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 it literally avoids the extinction of humanity because of the space race elon started and meanwhile all these fucking satellites floating around are floating around the rubble of a destroyed ruined planet earth because you are so shited and pathetically enraged that you dared to question the will of elon musk you pathetic fool you sound kind of (laughs) problematic right now I can't wait for Amazon Space Prime. Space Prime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna launch your ass in space because you said you didn't like Papa John's. <laughs> Amazon Basics. Basic rocket. Yeah. I'm gonna plant basic your rocket ass your space. You Papa John hater. All right, I'm fired up. <laughs> read, 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 a, read a tad more of the article before we drop this fucking. Okay. Just because there's there's some real beauties in there. There's some real gems. The much appreciated launch, much anticipated launch of, of Musk's Falcon Heavy rocket, the most powerful ever launched by a private company, ever launched ever, ya ding dong. How about fucking <laughs> fix that record a little bit? Went off without a hitch. Musk successfully sent his cherry red Tesla Roadster hurtling towards Mars. Musk expects the rocket and car to orbit the sun for hundreds of millions of years, though some experts <laughs> speculate they will disintegrate within a year. As if that matters, like, you fool. You expected to live for eternity, but it will actually disintegrate in a year. The event attracted phenomenal publicity. At one point, 2.3 million viewers were watching the event's live stream. 
making it a master stroke of advertising for Tesla. Meanwhile, in Syria, where hundreds of thousands of refugees may be forced to return to unsafe homes amid global anti-refugees backlash, an anti-government activist said despondently that he no longer sure why he bothers to videotape the effects of bombing since nobody ever pays attention. I, how is that Elon's mm-hmm. problem? Yeah. What does that have to do hey, with Elon Hey, can you stop Musk? having a space program so we can look at more? I mean, what, what the hell does this writer want? It's not even related. The U.N. Human Rights Coordinator for Syria pondered what level of violence it would take to make the world care, saying officials were running out of words to describe the crisis. Sorry. I don't see how that relates to Elon Musk. I don't have a solution for you. World is tough place, man. Geopolitics <laughs> isn't my game. I don't know. Maybe you need to hire a, mar- a mar- better marketing. Maybe you need to launch a <laughs> fucking rocket into space. You're saying the Syrian refugees need better PR. Hey, I don't know what to say. I don't have an answer for you. You're not going to be Elon Musk launching a roadster into space if that's what you think. If you think that's a tragedy that you're supposed – that's like the equality of outcome like you were saying. Like, oh, there should be more female comedian comedians despite how funny they are. Um, we just deserve it. Equality of outcome. They're like, hey – Assyrians are dying. Why does that not get more attention than a literal car, roadster being launched into outer space? Sorry, one's way more fucking interesting. It's true. Oh well, you can't you can't force people to be interested in something. It, and by the way, being interested and caring about something are two different things. You could be you could care about the Syrian refugee thing, but it doesn't mean you're. Thank gonna... you for I didn't mean like hey, I don't care. I'm just saying no, 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 but that, but one's way like... more fucking sensational. Yeah, or... Also, also, how many people want to see Syrians get fucking bombed yeah, into, into it's hell? Depressing. It's right. depressing. You can't go about your life. You like... can read about it. You can you can you could be interested in it. What well, actually? Uh... Care about it. But one doesn't have to have fun. To also, question... but again, the biggest thing is they're not related. They're fucking uh, two completely. Com- yeah. uh, they're not related. It's completely unrelated. I mean, Trump could have fucking, you know, his hair blew in the wind going up onto uh, yeah, and Air Force news. One, and that gets more coverage than the Syrian <laughs> is getting bombed. Like, sorry, man. Yeah, it, that's what happens. Get, it's just a stupid article. <laughs> this is so dumb. But they publish it. The Guardian's a huge paper. Yeah. But this, by the way, is also this. This is this sentiment was was pretty ripe. I saw it a couple places. Yes, it's very ripe. And and it was echoed by a good friend of mine who's a reasonable guy. Yeah. You know? It's very cool to be contrarian and hate Elon Musk just because he's a billionaire who does crazy things and has a little fun with his life. We don't have enough time on this planet. You how about both? How about how about you watch the Syrians and you feel bad for them and you also celebrate the rocket launch? Probably a lot of people saw both. Elon Musk is a weeb. This is an incredible story that you know, needs to be shared with the world. He was banned recently for t- from Twitter because he was shit posting so hard that Twitter was sure he was hacked. His security was <laughs> compromised, and they said, "There's no way these are genuine tweets. We need to shut this down." They were real <laughs> tweets. Okay, so let's see what was it that got him banned. He first begins with "I heart anime." 450,000 likes. I own a chibi wolverine. <laughs> now, by the way... How did you feel about it? Because you are you love anime, and love you're anime. a fan of villain. I love anime. So do you love him in a mo- even more now? Well, he's just shit posting. <laughs> I don't do you, know. Do you like him less? No, I don't like him less. I just think... I just don't know what... What's with the tweeting? I just don't really <laughs> get him. Like, Like, he's... It's like he's going I just don't know why he's trying to be like an edge lord, all of a sudden. It's like a midlife crisis, maybe. It's like, dude, you're the coolest, fucking greatest dude ever. You don't need to shit post on Twitter. You don't Twitter. need to try. Yeah, you don't need to try. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make me like. I think it's funny. I think I think that I I like him just as much as I ever did. I love Elon Musk. <laughs> um, I support him and his companies hundred percent, and I always will. It's just a little unnecessary, maybe, but. You know. And then he tweets his favorite anime, Love Your Name. I haven't actually seen this one, but apparently it's like a drama. I don't really like, um... Snooze fest. I don't really like anime dramas. I like... I like, I like, like, action animes. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it's... I like the fantasy aspect. I like the magic. I like the power. That's what I... I don't need to watch drama anime. I can watch drama in any form. Mm -hmm. Cartoons is not real. That's why you get sick ass fucking magic and powers. Because you can't actually do that in real life. Skip. Um, so, axe that one. 
Elon calls himself Elon Chan. <laughs> Elon Musk is a weeb, and he res- responds, ahem, Elon Chan. <laughs> what? I mean, uh. what? like, where is he <laughs> picking up this terminology? What? He just trolls Reddit all day. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Well, like, what form is he spending? Because the problem that, that makes me concerned is the people that talk with these kinds of memes, the people who, like, joke around like this, are not the people that I want getting inside Elon Musk's beautiful, pristine brain. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I don't want him spending time on 4chan yeah. or anime subreddits. <laughs> That's maybe that's what it concerns me. <laughs> yeah. It's more what it means that what he's why does he know all this stuff? Like you can what you can, I like anime, but I'm not You're not tweeting and, you're not a weed. I heart and it anime. would be more fine for me, by the way, than yeah. Elon Musk. We need his brain to be in good, clean, pristine, beautiful shape. <laughs> not ahem, Elon Chan. Like wherever he learned that, I don't want him there. <laughs> and I'm not Elon cr- Genesis Evangelion, that's amazing. And I'm not. <laughs> what'd you say? I just noticed the the <laughs> meme that I, I don't know if he posted or somebody else below, but I don't know the or, the origins of this one. It's just a pun off of a famous anime. Um. So Elon continues. Hey, what's going on with Two Factor for Tesla account? Which is weird because it's actually like a business related question, although it's not directed to the right place. So justifiably, he says, "You want to buy some Bitcoin." Which I think was probably when Twitter was like, this shit's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Elon, I don't know where you, what's going on, what forums you're browsing. <laughs> and we got to keep your brain beautiful and uninfected. And I'm not criticizing the people that do spend their times on that forum. I'm just saying some people we need to protect. <laughs> Elon Musk is one of those people. You know? I'm a cat girl. What is this shit? It keeps getting weirder every time I click here. Okay. <coughs> Show us your Bowsette cosplay. He says, actually, I'm actually cat girl. Here's a selfie right now. Okay. Now, your Twitter right now. What's your call? Suspend or keep open? Exactly. <laughs> I can see you where suspend. they came from. <laughs> Twitter ends up spending his, uh, suspending his account because he assumed he was hacked. And then, finally, we end on, um, send me your dankest memes, he tweeted. What the fuck? And then PewDiePie said, meme review when he said midnight. I don't think that happened. (laughs) Elon Musk, there you go. (laughs) What a world. What a world we live in. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? My God. What do you guys think about the Cybertruck? Cybertruck. This is very I'm divisive. I'm gonna get it. This shit was... Honestly, I wasn't sure if it was a joke or not. Um, is this the truck that they've been teasing? Yeah. Oh, so there's no pickup truck. It's just the cyber this is truck. It. Oh, I see why people are disappointed. Because they this wanted... This is what I was an, trying to say, man. <laughs> they oh. actually wanted a pickup truck. But they got this. Is, this is the pickup truck. <laughs> oh, man. I, but who said that that one is not coming? This is it. Well, this is it. I mean, they've this been hyping the up the truck reveal for a year, and yeah, he's this right. was the event. <laughs> so, well, well, let's take a look. Let's order it now. I like it. <laughs> look how long it is. <laughs> so, I was looking for some exciting car, you know, and there it came, just as I was looking. You're really going to drive this? Only a hundred bucks? That's, that's crazy. So, if you get the tri-motor, it's $70,000. 500 mile range. 14,000 p- pounds towing capacity. That's like... <laughs> I could tell you. Yeah, that's like three <laughs> me's, I think. And zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds? I don't know, man. Uh, it. I like it. I'll tell you why I like it, okay? It's different. Every truck on the road looks the same. Cars are so boring. The cars today are so boring. They've got this electric technology. They can do all this crazy shit. I like the cyber truck. I like it. That's what I said. I like it. I feel like, I like it. no matter your budget, there's not that many interesting options to to go with a car. And, you know, I've heard a lot of people saying that uh, the the rednecks or whatever you want to say, the people who 
our stereotypical truck drivers wouldn't want this. But I disagree. This is like a badass Humvee military grade vehicle uh, that you can fuck shit up in and run over hippies that. like Dan in. <laughs> Please. I don't think so. Ben I think I think that would have like been a good strategy. Uh, no, because it doesn't look like a military vehicle at all. It looks like a cyberpunk, like, 80s sci-fi movie it's vehicle. It's, I like it. I'm in. I appreciate they're doing something different. Ben I think people are like going to learn to love it, too. You, Zach you're you're misunderstanding. Like it. Zach, okay, so Zach... <laughs> Genuinely hates it. I don't actually hate it, but I think that the target demographic of who they would want to sell this to is going to hate it. But who I'm cares? Sure. I'm talking but about myself. Tesla does when they want to sell them. We'll but, but do you like it? it? I think people are going to want this I fucking think, thing. I, I, I understand and appreciate the whole, it, it looks different. It's a new aesthetic. Most cars look the same. This is striving to do something new. I think that's cool. Absolutely. But... On a okay. practical level, this it, is a terrible fucking. What's not why? practical yeah. about it? It's, it's electric, the, first yeah. of all. Because it's supposed to be a pickup truck. You know what? It's I'm gonna, gonna buy be this. a terrible pickup truck. I'm gonna buy this. How do you know? You could probably remove the back so it's yeah. open. Yeah. Because that would make it a lot more useful. Well, it, it slides open, but if you if you pull it up, the angles uh, around the truck bed, you see how it slopes up Let's really watch high. Some videos. Like if this piece was gone and it was just an open bed, that would be cooler, I think. Yeah, completely. But That's they, they a big must, part of the problem. They must have that option available. You know I mean, what I'm saying? The car isn't going to come out for a few years, so they might end up yeah. changing it. Yeah, I think you should be able to have the option to include this piece or not. Because if you remove this, then you have, really have a badass piece. I want truck. that piece. You want Ela wants the piece, Dan. <laughs> it looks like a DeLorean SUV. Okay. Like a Back to the Future SUV. And, and where that's is the, the coolest problem? car. Everybody agrees the DeLorean is the coolest fucking car ever. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> but like, it, it, it looks like a concept car. Like, it looks unfinished. Yeah. I mean, someone had looks a great. Finished to me. You know this episode of Simpsons where Homer got to design a <laughs> that's car? That's what everybody's first, comparing yeah. it to, yeah. <laughs> Homer Simpson car. You know that episode, Ela? Homer finds out he has a twin brother who's like a prolific car maker. <laughs> And then he lets Homer make a car and it tanks the company. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> Man, that was such a great episode. One of the cl- classics, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> That's basically Elon Musk. It's the Homer. That being said, I will buy this car. Here. This was funny. They oh, were saying that it's got impenetrable <laughs> windows. And this guy threw like a softball, man. He didn't wind up. You could tell. But I don't care about that. That's oh, something they can work on. Well, I don't know how they Maybe fucked that was up. a little too hard. <laughs> how did they fuck that up, though? Should we try it on the door? Sorry? <laughs> it didn't go through. Let's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Oh, he threw it again and it broke. Let's scroll part. down on this thing. Oh, okay. This guy's hating, by the way, whose Twitter feed I'm showing. Really? Okay. Sure. He barely threw it. He <laughs> lobbed it. It didn't go through. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you're like, gonna do a demo, you better goddamn make sure someone fucked up. <laughs> and if you're gonna do this, don't do it at the top of the demo, so that it's just sitting there for the next 45 minutes yeah, with that smashed is funny. windows. I love that. Yeah, not bad. So the room for improvement. <laughs> That's something that will be easy to fix, though. A window? Yeah. Not if you're dead. No. You're using this in no Iraq. for them until until it comes out. Oh, this is a penetrated window. Yeah, that's easy to fix, Dan. Why are you yeah. hating on a window? What? I'm not hating. I'm I thought I'm it was I'm fucking just giving funny. You hard time. It is funny. But um, <laughs> Ian likes it. Oh, yeah. Ian, what do you think about it? I mean, I think it's really cool. There you go. Like and Ian, uh, he decides what's cool. <laughs> I just like the, the fact that this conversation is happening makes me like the car. I like mm-hmm. things that make people talk and it's not boring. Like every You mean like Kanye I'm West? <laughs> Exactly. Yes. Uh, F tier, easy. Um, this is impressive, though. You have to admit. Sledgehammer, stainless steel. Uh huh. Ooh, impressive. Uh, the haters gonna hate, hate, hate. One more time now. Why not? Really wind up. Nail it. The, get, the people in the audience are such fanboys. But if, whoa! <laughs> if you get like a, a paint on that, like they put paint, a black color, a white one, it's going to fuck up the paint. Yeah, but I think that's... I think the, it's supposed to come without Yeah, paint. I think it's supposed to come all fucking like 
rough metal. Oh, God. I like the rough metal. I do too. Uh, yeah, there's Homer. Because I was looking, you know, our conversation about vintage cars. I'm just looking for something exciting, and but when I keep looking, when I kept looking into those old cars, everything that comes with it is going to be such a headache. Like going to it's, a gas station. Exact. Well, and then well, that's the least of your words. Fixing it, making sure it works all the time. Okay, that is like. There you go. Drawing. Oh, look at that mo- that bike, dude. Wait, so it's there. An ATV. Wait, there, yeah, it, it was open there. Yeah, it was open, Dan. No, it, it's not the top that opens. It's the side panels. You see how it comes up on the side? How do I keep it? Don't move. What do you mean? Like, on the truck bed. It keeps moving. Damn it. You know how a normal truck bed, it's like flat, but this yeah. has that triangular piece that's going up on the oh. side? Well, that that's... makes it so you can't easily load it from the side, which... I, so oh, I, I see I what you're I feel like that, prob- they probably would make that so you could fold They it could address something. that. I see what you're saying, though. But most people load it from the back, no? Not necessarily. No, you want the side, too, but... Yeah. I'm just not a truck user. But knowing their cars, it's all about kind of, function, so I... Yeah, they'll figure it I out. I feel like that would be an option. The fact, I, when they revealed it, I thought this thing was about to come out. I've since seen that this is not going to be out for another two years. It's probably going to change significantly, especially since it got quite a bit of backlash. <laughs> so Not real. I mean, it was trending say, number one and trending in the world. Like everybody Why do you think tre- I mean talking about it, sure. That but no, it was split. I saw people loving it and I saw people hating it. I agree that a lot of people are liking it. I just I wonder how many people that actually buy and use pickup trucks are the ones well, reacting positively. To I it. am going to put a deposit, so It's got 100 on it. It's only a hundred to reserve it. <laughs> that's that all makes the me proof think you it's need. A total scam. Hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> like that's it. You'll never get this thing. Here's the thing too: is the whole cool thing about the Teslas originally is that they made it kind of like a sports car, right? And it and it sold a lot of people that were iffy on electric cars. On like it made electric cars sexy. And now they make this pickup truck, and you'd think they want to do the same thing for pickup truck drivers, which you know are like farmers or construction workers and those kind of people but people like big fucking trucks they put nuts on the back you know what i mean Mm. it's like fuck you (laughs) i'm in a truck i could be wrong but i just don't think that that you could mount a machine gun to the top and call it a day dude have you seen the well why are we talking about guys that are not here let's talk about the people that are here in the room that are going to buy it (laughs) (laughs) i mean I think it's because cool. I, I normally, tank today. I normally would That's not want a truck. How about that? And right. I, I mean, it could. One. Yeah. It's, I think Dan. That I think look, like a truck. Might I think buy in it. LA you'll see a lot of goobers in it, but I agree. In the country, I don't know. I don't know if people in the Midwest are going to be interested in this. That's all I'm saying. But I think they. they might. Think it's unfortunate because those people think that electric cars are stupid, and I, it would have been cool if they had made something that could sell those people on an electric car. And I don't think this is going to sell them. It did it. tank. I was. <laughs> yeah, their, their stock is not doing so hot today. So it did take. I should a buy also dump. stock for a hundred dollars. Actually, buy the dip. You can get a third of a. Uh, Honestly, today might be the day to, day to pick up some Tesla stock. Do some Honestly, day um, <clears throat> but you know they probably were aware of that, and they thought, well, if we just make a normal pickup truck, I think people aren't going to want to compare. We have to do something different, something revolutionary. We need to take the pickup truck and send it to Mars. Take it back, send it, send it to the center of the universe, Elon Musk it up, forget about <laughs> it, put some armored doors and windows on it, and then all of a sudden... You know how they got this Roadster coming out? Yeah. If they had made the Roadster look like that, like a sick, like, 80s, but futuristic version of, like, a DeLorean or whatever, yeah. I'd be totally on board. Yes. That would have been awesome. That's this like is, just, uh, this yeah. is just a shitty design for a pickup truck. The Roadster Well, is this sick. one does... Start at forty thousand though. Forty thousand. That's incredible. I did some compa- It's okay. It. What surprises me it's is electric. It, it's electric, yeah. But the towing capacity for an equivalent priced, uh, you know, traditional combustion engine pickup truck, it's not very good. How much do you pay on gas though? Mm. Sure, but I'm just talking. You know, again, this is people that actually use their trucks for work. So if you're towing <laughs> stuff and you need to tow something really heavy. Well, it, it, this isn't necessarily <coughs> the best option either. I guess it's it's yeah, that's true, but it is electric. 
That is a big thing. And the um, the one that goes, I mean, one does go 500 miles or something on a single charge. That's pretty. That's what they say. I mean, right now, the biggest battery they have goes, you know, 370. Mm-hmm. But this doesn't come out for two years. So they're like, they they're did that on, on the it. on the Roadster better. too. They're like, this will have a thousand mile charge. It's like, yeah. Where's the thousand mile charge, dude? Mm-hmm. But, you know, I have to admit, when I first saw this, I, I mean, I'm still not 100% percent convinced that this is a real car <laughs> you know what i mean so there you have it you love it you hate it or you think it's okay but i do take Ela seriously that she'll buy this i am i believe her you'll put theodore and it's like and i'm gonna out. drive you all around and you're all gonna love it and it'll probably be cool but yeah. i just don't think that Ela klein was like who they had in mind of well, maybe they did. Be, I mean, it could be like you know, in LA, you see everyone riding around those Mercedes G, G wagons. Exactly, it's going to be exactly like that. But that's going to be a bunch of rappers. I mean, that's well, good for them because that G wagon's a really successful car for Mercedes. Yeah, but that one is designed to be. It's not trying to be no, like a work. That's a high beast car. Right, exactly. Nobody tows anything in that car. Right. Even though it does have incredible capacity. What you is know, the G Wagon? It, it's that one that you like. Oh. It was like, I like that car. <laughs> he was like, I like that car. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Let's check it out. And I'm like, dude, it's $170,000. Yeah. Damn. That's yeah. Crazy. But beyond. And it gets like 15 miles Beyond the down. price, what I hate is that, that you're going to have to go to the gas station like once oh, every dude. three days. The mileage on that thing is insanely bad, dude. We don't go to the gas station. I've been in a gas station in like three years, dude. That's pretty sick. Yeah. On top of, it's a really beautiful car, too, but anyway, that's your... I, I'm i ride or die, Elon Musk. I am, too, Musk actually. Gang. Shout out to Elon. <laughs> he's probably got a huge one, too. Like, he's probably got a, a huge one, dude. A huge what now? Cock. Mm. <laughs> Truck. Uh, something just threw me for a loop this morning. Elon Musk has been losing his ass on Twitter lately. <laughs> what is going on? And I was like, man, I got to talk about this Elon because Elon's a subject of many conversations here on the podcast. I'm a fan of Elon Musk and everything he's achieved, but he's been going on for he's been going on like uh, anti lockdown rants on Twitter saying free America. Here I'm, I'm opening his Twitter. <laughs> he pinned it. He said free America now. Okay. He's been just tweeting all kinds of media mm-hmm. about how the lockdown is um, unwarranted and that the death rate is way lower than we think. And I, I have to say, based on what I understand, again, I'm not going to profess to be as smart as Elon Musk, but I have looked and read a lot about the coronavirus, as you guys know. And as I understand it, it's a lot of dubious science, these suggestions that the lockdown uh, is unnecessary and that the death rate is low and that we don't care if old people die and all this. It's very dubious. And um, from from what I understand, especially from our conversation with Dr. Ding, is that if you open up the economy and just let everyone do their thing, the economy is going to close. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's counterproductive. But anyway, he tweeted out today and what could only be perceived as a drug-fueled rant, and I'm telling you. <laughs> He says, classifying all deaths as corona, even if corona didn't cause the death, is simply a lie. And, well, I guess we, I don't think that's what's happening. I think the actual truth is that the corona death deaths are even higher than what's being reported. Because there's a lot of people dying at home who, who are not going to the hospital, right? And yeah. so, and so, again, this somewhat dubious... Uh, misinformation. He actually tweeted out a video <coughs> that was removed by YouTube for misinformation. So I That's don't know. That's pretty epic. So anyway, he tweeted out today, I am selling all of my physical possessions. Will not, will no longer own a house. How is that related? I didn't understand. Well, well I don't, you never know if he's memeing or not because apparently he's like a shit poster now. That's like his thing. <laughs> And then he says, and then this was the best one. He goes, Tesla's stock price is too high, in my opinion. Which means he's shorting his own company. And his, his stock of Tesla immediately tanked 10%. Actually, now it's at 
That's incredible. He talked. He tanked his own company's stock by 10%. There's people in the comments like, yo, I just lost $10,000 because of this tweet. What is wrong with you? You know? Well, while that is hilarious, I don't. Uh, we don't necessarily know that he has actually shorted his own. Company. Right, right, right. Like, that would obviously be highly illegal and probably send him to jail so hopefully. no he didn't short he didn't short, yeah, i'm sure he didn't what i mean is he's tanking his own stock sure yeah yeah then he starts singing the uh star spangled banner he says oh say does that star spangled st sp spangled banner yet wave gave proof through the night that our flag was still there and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air now give the people back their freedom isn't that great he's like i sang the star spangled banner now give the people back their freedom he also said that his girlfriend is mad at him right here he says, my girlfriend Grimes is mad at me. And in the response, someone said, well, that's good news to hear that you're still together. And then he said, baby due on Monday. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> so. Wow. I think he's got to be. He's on something, man. There's no explanation. I mean, thinking back to when we were a few days before our due dates. Yeah. If you were tweeting this kind of madness. I would, I would have had a heart attack, well, yeah, you, probably. He was in no space to be... I can't imagine. <laughs> <sighs> well, no, and, and uh, well, thank you. And uh, no, of course I wouldn't. I would just um, cause a bunch of drama when you're in Israel while your dad was <laughs> dying. That's the only time I would fuck with you. Yes. Uh, that was not anywhere close to this in my opinion thank you for the past <laughs> but but uh anyway i was just shocked i mean most of all just that he said his who says this my company is overvalued and and then the investor's like all right cool so <laughs> congratulations to elon musk and grimes the arrival of their new baby boy named x uh a a e arsh <laughs> x a e a12. No, I know it's Ash. But saying Ash doesn't do justice to how weird it is. Congratulations to their baby boy, X Ash A12, who will definitely be super stoked that they named him that throughout his entire life. I think they'll probably just call him Ash, though. Or he'll go by uh, X, Professor X. X is a kind of a dope name. AX. Yeah, I like X. Um, God, that's a weird one, man. Uh, Elon, this she was tweeting from the hospital um, the explanation for the baby's name X, the unknown variable. A E Ash, my elven spelling of A I, love or artificial intelligence. What's elven about it? Is that an elven character? Okay, A twelve. No. Elves aren't real, so no. Uh, <laughs> uh, try telling that to A X Ash A twelve. A twelve is the precursor to the SR seventeen, our favorite aircraft. Why not just do use SR seventeen if that's your favorite aircraft? Why A twelve? No weapons, no defense, just speed. Great in battle, but nonviolent. And the A, of course, stands for Archangel. And then Elon uh, corrects her. He says SR seventy one, but yes. And she responded, "I am recovering from surgery and barely alive, so may my typos be forgiven. But damn it, that was meant to be profound." I couldn't tell if they were, if this was. They must have just been goofing around, right? Yeah. I have to assume. Let's assume that <laughs> for, the, for the sake of young X Ash A twelve. Um. Let's see. On Joe Rogan, Elon was re uh, recently on Rogan. And yeah. then, what? How do you say the name? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he's a laughing. placeholder. Yeah, first of all, my partner is the one that uh, actually mostly came up with the name. Congratulations to her. Yeah, yeah, she's great at names. Um, so, I mean, it's just X, the letter X, um, and then the A E is like pronounced Ash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jill can't yeah. help but laugh at it. And then uh, A12, A12 is my contribution. Oh, why A12? Uh, Archangel 12, the precursor to the SR-71. 
coolest plane ever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. Oh, I appreciate the Joe. I mean, it's fun. It's a little kooky, so I appreciate Joe just being upfront about that. <laughs> but anyway, congratulations to them. That was in all the news. X is kind of a dope name, and so is Ash, though. So That's I have a, true. I have a feeling he's not going to go by X Ash A12. Since we're on the topic of robot robotics and all that, Elon Musk just did a demonstration of the Neuralink, which, again, Elon, is he's got his hands in everything. He does. He's going to Mars, he's making electric cars, and now he's putting chips in your brain. Just had a baby. High energy pig. Yeah, he's got a, that baby's got a chip in his head for sure. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So anyway, uh, this is the Neuralink. This is something he's, he's apparently been working on and teased quite a bit. And... Just to kind of cut to the chase here, he's got pigs he's been experimenting on. So he implanted chips in their brain. And this is just to kind of show how it works. So here, I'll let him explain. Okay, this is a, this is a high energy pig. Um, all right, Gertrude, thanks for coming out. Um, so what you're, the, the beeps you're hearing are real-time signals from the neural link in Gertrude's head. So this neural link connects to neurons that are uh, in her snout. So whenever she snuffles around and touches something with her snout, the, that sends out uh, neural spikes, which are detected here. Um, and so on the screen, um, you can see uh, each, each of the, the spikes from the 1,024 electrodes. And, and then if, you, if she, yeah, she snuffles around, touches this out in the ground, or you kind of feed her some food, pigs love food, um, then uh, you, you can see the neurons um, will fire much more than when you're not touching this out. And uh, that's what's making the, the beeping sound. So. All right, cool. So as you can see. So obviously it's really early technology, but like, so they've got a chip in the brain that can tell when the pig is smelling something and um, apparently the end goal of this Neuralink is that they say that they can cure are you ready Ela? spinal injuries I know I, I read that and I was like let's go autism neurological disorders anxiety depression pain unhappiness just straight up no, unhappiness. That one weirded me out. <laughs> unhappiness. We started what does that with mean? back pain. It's yeah. like so I can understand it. It's very clear. And Yo, dude, I'm unhappy. Unhappiness? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I don't think that's like a diagnosable condition. Like anxiety, depression. I get it's so unhappiness. <laughs> yeah. How do you even define what? A little, little left. You're like, uh, a little more happy. <laughs> And it will let you control any gadget with your brain. So I guess Elon's stated goal with this is that he wants to compete with AI because they are able to process information so fast, like instantaneous really eventually, that the human brain takes too long to process information by inserting a neural link when we're like, let's just say on the computer or interfacing with technology and information, we can absorb it faster. So you won't have to yell at Alexa. You could just be like... you be like this. <laughs> yeah, but or, or to each other, right? Yeah. So it's almost like, tele like tele telepathy. What am I saying telepathy. right now? You're saying, uh, cure my unhappiness. <laughs> yeah, it's like technological uh, tele 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 huh. telepathy. 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 It would fix that. Oh, yeah. Whatever that is, <laughs> fixed. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently the technology that they're displaying is not revolutionary at all. But what is revolutionary... I feel so stupid today. Like, everything so far is, like, mind-blowing, and they're like, oh, this is, like, uh, 20, 20 years ago already. Yeah. 1961. <laughs> we had a robot that could read brainwaves, and his name was Daisy. <laughs> Data is transmitted... So the, this part is, is really revolutionary. It's wires, wirelessly transmitted via bluetooth like radio waves now this is freaky because people can be able to hack your fucking brain <laughs> okay people are gonna hack your brain that's weird i mean whoa, i'm not doing this 
<laughs> so, but that, that, so if you can cure anxiety and depression and unhappiness and all this shit, that also indicates that you can cause those feelings in people too. Uh, Con, you know, on right. the other side. Yeah. So you hack into somebody and be like, fuck you, dude, you're anxious now. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh my God. I don't like that. I don't like that. The device has all day battery life and charges similar to a smartwatch on a phone. So you just put your head against the wall. <laughs> God, this is so creepy. <laughs> I think I'll just take the back pain at this point. I don't yeah, know. I'm I'm definitely not volunteering for it. I'll tell you that. And over the last week, I've been having a lot of back pain. So this is really close to my heart right now. Here, you're going to love this. So this is this goes against your skull. It's got, uh, oh, I don't even know what this means, 1,024 channels? Who, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it has to be installed via a surgical robot. It's just like in the movies. This, yeah, this robot, it just it's fucking just like, plugs it into your brain, bro. I mean, that's Black Mirror episode <sighs> that we've already seen. I don't like it. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't like it. I the, don't like it. The device was vastly simplified. It's a flat disc. It's installed by a robot by cutting a small circular hole in the top of your skull and inserting the device directly onto your brain. I don't <laughs> like it. But the device has received FDA breakthrough device designation. Mm. This, this essentially means that it's a first step toward FDA approval. It will allow them with oversight to start the process of conducting human trials, of which I will definitely not be volunteering. I don't like it. <laughs> the product is years, decades away from market, thank God. <laughs> Let's keep it on the pigs for now. Uh, despite the slick presentation, people in the medical field are claiming that... Um, this essentially revealed their Neuralink's actual device is less capable than similar medical devices already on the market. Though the small form factor of it and significant improvement to battery technology and the wireless aspect make it uh, a notable announcement, although not the game changer that Elon Musk, of course, claims it to be. Who, by the way, now is the fourth richest man in the world, or maybe fifth. He wasn't even close. When we... When we started this podcast, we were like, Elon Musk forever. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was, I think, a billionaire, but now he's like the fifth or fourth richest person in the world because Tesla is like, went to the moon. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Uh, and SpaceX, I think, is making money now, too. So there you go. Who's volunteering for a neural, Neuralink? I'm going to pass for now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Elon. But I love it. <laughs> oh, he Trump loves it. Is. Trump loves it. Trump loves it. Yeah. <laughs> I said I love it. Anyone? Anyone volunteering to get a a hole cut in their brain by a robot? <laughs> I'll have to wait it out. Maybe like the second generation. Yeah, maybe. I'm just hoping the tech gets polished by the time I get like Alzheimer's or something. I mean, that does sound really appealing. Well, if you're at like an end of life level of uh, disease or yeah. something, then it's like, yeah, plug me in, baby. I mean, that sounds a lot more pleasant than like uh, chemotherapy, for example. Just as a treatment, just get something installed in your yeah. brain. Yeah, no, if, I, if I'm going to die, if I have some crippling disease, then yeah, plug me in. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to take it just because I want to think. Alexa. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I don't want to talk to I don't want to talk wirelessly to Alexa. <laughs> you know, and then you've got people like Elon Musk who's apparently a smart guy and I don't know what the fuck he's on about either. It's like this whole alpha like it's like the contrarian. It's people who are like natural contrarians just refuse to listen to Elon Musk talk about this. Do you get a vaccine? Are you uh, what do you do with no. your own family? You won't get a vaccine. Why is that? I'm 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 not at risk for covid. Man. Yes, you f how <laughs> That's not the point, dude. Like, it's not oh the God. point. It's not. Isn't Elon the point. like the smartest guy? No, no? Uh, I thought he was. <laughs> There's no way that they don't know that they're missing the point. There's no way. Everybody understands that. It's about herd immunity. Everybody understands that. I don't understand. Ignore my kid. Mm -hmm. 
So you won't do that. No. And, and why the and fuck are these interviewees challenging him? It yeah, doesn't matter I, that you're not at risk. That's not this the interview, fucking point. If you keep listening, this interview does challenge him and mm. he gets very upset. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. What, do you, what do you do now? Do you do you just go to work? Is that how you're conducting yourself and your family? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this entire time SpaceX has been at work this, through this entire thing. We didn't skip a day. He brags we about how he forced all his workers to so mm-hmm. work. Security work. We sent astronauts to the space station and back. Tesla has been, apart from several weeks where we're shut down by the state and then the overzealous Alameda County, which is a travesty. But apart from that, we've been making cars this entire time. And um, it's been great. How do you answer your employees? You say, I think you're putting me and my family at risk. What do you say to them then? Great, stay home. Stay home. That's it. Yeah. Do they get penalized for that or just what's it's what can they do if they feel that they are at risk? I mean, if they, if they have a legitimate reason to be at risk, then they, you know, they should stay home. All right. So when they Didn't decide when this question. is your policy, yeah. when these workers are worried and do you feel that they have a I want to just get back to that. Put yourselves in their shoes. Do you feel they have a good reason to be worried um, and do you feel a duty to pay them and make sure they're okay, despite the fact that you don't agree with how they feel about COVID versus how you feel about Let's just COVID? Just move on. Just move on. No, how about you answer That's the right. fucking question, <laughs> bro? On. You're responsible for a lot of people's wow. health. How about you fucking answer the question, bitch? You have a responsibility for these on. people. Didn't he just become like the richest person? Yes. Okay, so he doesn't want about, to talk about it if he feels like he should be paying his employees that feel like they dude, have to Dude, just stay move home. on. You Fuck you. Play a little bit more. Kara, I do not want to get into a okay, debate about right. COVID I want to know, situation. Okay, Seems fair right, to me. Okay, I want to finish up talking That's about... That's all. You want to end the podcast now? We can do it. Okay, what do you say? No, we don't. I don't want to end it. I just want to understand... He threatens to end it. Oh. Where you've got, but I do. I feel like I understand where you are. Mm-hmm. So yeah. one of the and things I should say, we, we've also spent quite a lot of time with the Hobbit epidemiology team mm-hmm. doing antibody studies. Tesla makes the vaccine machines for CureVac. Gates said something about me not knowing what, what it's doing. It's like, hey, knucklehead, we actually make the vaccine machines for CureVac, that company you're invested in. Cool. You're still putting your employees at risk. Um but here he says, at the beginning, he says... I mean, this here. is a hot-button issue where rationality takes a back seat. So... Ironic. In the grand scheme of things, I think this is... You know, what we have is something with a very low mortality rate and high contagion. And... First of all, the mortality rate is, like, astonishingly high for how contagious it is. I mean, this whole talking point that it has low mortality... The flu has more low mortality... It has like a point, you know, zero, one percent. I don't know. Flu mortality rate is like well below one percent. This one has like one to two percent mortality, which is a low number. But that means one out of every 100 person that catch it dies. That's a fucking lot versus the flu is like one in 10,000. I mean, that's a staggering number of people. 500,000 people almost have died, Elon. I mean, how the fuck are you going to tell me that it has a low mortality rate? That sounds like a lot of people dead. Something that is of low risk to a young person is, is of high risk to an older person. And again, they keep ignoring the fact that there is a lot of people that have long term lasting effects from COVID. Mm-hmm. Long lasting effects, lung damage, loss of sense of smell. Um, it's he's very I, th- I honestly, the only thing I could say for Elon, it makes more sense than Joe Rogan. But Elon seems to just be protecting his business interests. Right. He's just trying to ignore the reality of it because he just wants to keep doing business. So, you know, that seems pretty apparent just watching him try to rationalize this away. Essentially the thing, the right thing to do would be to not have done a lockdown for the whole country, but to have, I think anyone who's at risk should be quarantined until the storm passes. All right, but this storm is coming again. You know, By the way, we tried that. The storm dum-dum. is not just going to pass. It's not that easy. You, All these people in... You keep going to parties with Joe Brogan, and um, it's not going to pass. Dude, you think they didn't try to lock down, like, retirement homes? All these people are dying because people need to fucking interact with other people. The people that are highest at risk are people old of age, and they have caretakers and people that take care of them. And it wipes them out like a fucking wildfire, dude. It's just you're not this stupid to miss the fucking point. Not about saving humanity, but these are humans that die in the process. Everybody dies. 
I know that, Elon. Wow, he's so <laughs> fucking enlightened. Hey, everybody dies. Classic. That's this is exactly what I want. Right. And that's like the Lex Luthor defense. So disappointing. Everybody dies, bro. That's like I'm 14 and this is deep. I mean, what are you saying, dude? You don't want to prevent death, early death, early death, bro. Why do we, what's the point of even trying to prevent uh, early uh, uh, infant mortality? Everybody dies. Mm -hmm. Why should we care about babies dying? That baby was just not healthy. Enough. Yeah, just it was a fucking weak ass baby. You should go have a kid without any life support and like uh, instruments to help your baby survive, Elon, because everybody dies. Stupid ass. Such a fucking idiot. God, it's so upsetting. Oh, yeah, let's not forget this gem. Ba the Elon Musk back in March 19. Based on current trends, probably close to zero new cases by end of April. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, Elon has consistently been on the absolute Come wrong on, end of this. Cool, bro. Is that a stat you got from Joe? Well, people just believe him because he's smart. Like, you know, he's Elon Musk. But yeah. I'm learning that Elon is not the fucking cool dude that I thought he was. I really am disillusioned with him. Yeah, but have you seen like his Doge memes on Twitter? Dude, it's so, so epic. I can't so believe people sick. like. He's think so that's funny. It's just so cringe, bro. To me, he just strikes me as like a mogul who really is just focused on business over everything. I mean, he literally just said everyone dies when someone was expressing concern about his employees. Well, and I think it's just a lot of people uh, fall into this trap of. Um, I mean. I'm not, I'm not about to say that I'm smarter than Elon Musk uh, or that he's an idiot. You know what I mean? I'm sure he has a very high IQ. But being a talented engineer and business person does not make you smart about everything else. You know what I mean? Right. And it, it, it just, it's so obvious that the megalomania has set in with him. Mm -hmm. he, he thinks he's he knows delusional better than everybody because it threatens everything. his business. That's it. It's yeah. so simple. Joe Rogan, I don't, I don't know what the fuck to say about Joe Rogan. He's just a dumb Well, it's dumb. more on brand on Joe Rogan. <laughs> just on brand. I get that. The, the, the question is, what, what on balance serves the greater good? And you feel lockdowns did not do that? No. This is a no-win situation. It has it has diminished my faith in humanity, this whole thing. Because? Diminished his faith in humanity. Can you imagine the irony of him saying that? The ir irrationality. This is, this is pretty much where we started. We, we've looped around the video Will you now. Get a and then he, this is to finish my, my fin, diminish my faith in humanity. And fast forward one minute. Can we stop talking about that? The the well being of my employees, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. You fuck it. You and Joe Rogan diminish my faith in humanity. It's so Especially, simple. Um, I mean. Coming from the guy who, during the year of the pandemic, became the richest guy in the world. Right. The, 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 I don't know. That's would a good point, would, You would Not think he would have a little more compassion to other people. Not when, like, he, he reached the point of, like, money is, like, an abstract nothing. It's like right. he, he has so much of it, it's nothing. Yeah. It's, it, everything is nothing. It's, like, it's so abstract at this point. Yeah. The you could do whatever you want. You have so much power to just... The pandemic's been just, real good to him. For example, just treat your employees nice. Like you have that power. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I think a way to stick it in his face. Are you about to defend them? <laughs> no, no, no. I say a way to stick it in his face to show how you can be nice to your employees and say fuck Elon. Ethan, I think you should give me your Tesla. Ah. Yeah, he's got a point. <laughs> yeah. Take it. <laughs> I, unfortunately, AB, I still have to. If you want to take over the payments, you can have it. Yeah. Yeah. If you want that lease. No, I'm just playing. You can have Elon it. I swear to God, AP take it. Take the idiot. payments. I don't, I'm, I'm over Tesla, bro. I gotta say, I'm kind of disappointed with the Tesla. I got the X and it's I'm like, not. it's rickety. Oh, you love it? It feels rickety. It's a great car. Okay, Hila loves it. <laughs> All right. I can't stand these people, dude. Can't stand it. Elon Musk, he's been trying to buy Twitter outright. It's, I think the it's whole chain... now. Okay, Like right before we went live. So the whole chain of events is basically that he put in like $10 billion to become the biggest shareholder. And then he was going to join the board. But if you join the board of directors, you have fiduciary duties. Like he went on Twitter and started talking mad shit about Twitter. And if you're on the board of directors, you actually cannot 
talk shit about Twitter because you're not allowed to adversely affect the shareholders. Right. So he's like, oh, fuck, well, I don't want to be board of director then because I'm not going to be able to talk shit about Twitter. So he said, I'm just going to buy Twitter outright. He made an offer of $54.20 per share, which is actually 38% over the premium of the company's share price, which is pretty insane. Hey, Twitter world, this is yours truly. And Twitter was just announced before we went live is accepting his offer of $44 billion. Wow. So if you own Twitter shares, are you getting paid out right now? Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's a buyout. So, yeah. Is Twitter in the S&P 500? I don't know how. It's on NASDAQ. No, I know it's on the NASDAQ, but it's on the S&P 500. Oh, oh, oh. Um, because I don't think they be. even have... They don't have, like, income. Uh, right. I think Twitter has actually only turned to profit, like, one year of its existence. Most, Is it most on the S&P 500? Twitter stock's going up, though. Well, yeah, I mean, on this news, obviously, people want to buy Um, I shares. doubt it's on the S&P 500, but I don't know. I only say that because I own that some S and P five hundred, so I was like, "Where's my check, Elon?" But uh, I don't think it is. So what's the, so what's the developing story? Well, the update that I mentioned was the one that I already said. It's that uh, uh, Trump came out and made a statement that um, here, here's the article right here. I'll throw it up on the screen. Trump says he won't return to Twitter if account reinstated after Musk takeover. He said on Fox News, apparently. I was just talking to Dan about this. Trump made this whole social media platform called Truth. And he has never fucking tweeted from it. He only tweeted once <laughs> to say, stay tuned, guys. There's lots more to come. And he has not tweeted on Truth Social. Where is Trump? <laughs> what the fuck is Truth Social? Here. This is his one. Okay. This is, as far as I'm aware, his one and Get only. Get ready. Tweet. Your favorite president will see you soon. <laughs> Ghost. Just gone. <laughs> so, do you think Trump? I was just going to say, I, Trump could be unbanned by Thursday when we go live. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. I mean, he's saying uh, that he will not return, but I, I find that extremely hard to believe. Oh, are you kidding me? That dude loved Twitter, he's obsessed. Well, I don't know why he wouldn't. Maybe he just enjoys the solitude. He's like, you know, I realize Twitter's kind of toxic. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of just like the quiet. Well, Elon Musk says he wants to transform Twitter as a platform for free speech around the globe. And it requires vast improvements. Uh, he's going to, he has a very novel idea to add a edit button, which is pretty cool. Nobody's thought of that. Well, and his fucking pitch for what it would be is one of the dumbest things I've so, ever seen in my so life. So, here, I'll play this. <laughs> On the edit button, how, how do you get around the problem of... So someone tweets Elon rocks, and it's tweeted by two million people. Um, and um, and then, then after that, they edit it. So I'm, Elon sucks. And, um, Got and him. all those retweets, they're all embarrassed. And how, how, do you, how do you avoid... Yeah, I mean, it's so obvious. You basically put, like, a five-minute limit on the edit button because most of the time you make a typo and then you notice it immediately in like five minutes and you're like oh shit five minute window and also it needs a giant asterisk to show the original version mm -hmm. pretty obvious on, right pretty obvious on twitter me. twitter blue the uh the paid version of it you can do undo tweet and you can set a timer you mean a race yeah but that you put a not exactly you put a timer on how long you want before the tweet goes live. Right. So that's not actually it. it's not actually an edit button because it the tweet doesn't actually go out. Right. Yeah, well you only realize it once it goes out. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, right. It's, but it's just like part a of a delay what, on it. Right. You can set a delay like if you did fuck up you you can Well, I'm it. sorry, but paying for Twitter is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, Elon Musk just paid 44 billion for it, so. <laughs> Still, you know. <laughs> Twitter blue. I mean, when, when we're all paying for so much crap, so many streaming services, and you got to pay for Twitter, that type of changing. Well, of here's here, here's his so response. So that retweeters are exploited. Well, I think uh, you know you'd, you'd, you'd only have the edit capability for a short period of time, and probably the thing to do at, upon the edit would be to zero out uh, all retweets and favorites. Okay. 
Um, but, I'm open to ideas, though, you know. On the edit button, how... So, that is literally just deleting your fucking tweet and tweeting a correction. He, he's saying remove likes and retweets or make it yeah. impossible to like and retweet? No, no, no. It's like... I know what he meant by zero out. It, once, he, once you, you edit it. Once you, you tweet something, a bunch yeah. of people retweet it, you edit it to be like Elon Musk sucks or whatever, all of those retweets and likes go back to zero. Yeah. It's the exact same fucking Wait, thing as just deleting... Yes. No, you'll keep okay. the likes... Um, I'm open no, to he ideas, says though. zero out the yeah. likes. Oh, the likes too? Yes. Or out uh, all retweets and favorites. Okay. Favorites is, is zero likes. Out. Oh, okay. Zero out. Zero out. So yeah, in that case, it is just deleting it. Maybe he means hide, but I don't know. <laughs> but he's the got point big is, ideas. is that he hasn't, he's been talking about a fucking adding an edit button to Twitter for weeks at this point, right? When this interview happens, and then somebody asks him a direct question of how you would do it, and he seemingly is coming up with an answer on the spot. Like, he has not actually thought about this. Actually, there's some things that I think is a good idea. He talked about making people ID themselves to get verified, which I think is interesting. I thought and you already had to do that to get a check mark. No, he's gonna open it up to the public. Oh, that anybody can get a check you mark if you ID, identify yourself. And then so, like, if everyone is verifying their ID, there'd be a lot more like racist troll bullshit. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that just he wants to remove the element of anonymity from the platform, at least for checkmark accounts. Um, and if, you know, that expands to everybody. But it's not like you... You don't have to do that, right? Like you can still no, no, post no. without a check mark and be anonymous. I think just I opening it up to, to the public. Yeah. So somebody, <laughs> I seen people saying, you know, saving this for later. Um, he's really. I feel like he's putting himself in a lose lose situation. Everyone loves him now. Mark my no. words. Not, Not everyone. everyone, but like especially the conservatives. They're just like, and there's a lot of people in the middle too who are like. Elon, we love Elon. He's the man. I feel like, mark my words, you cannot own Twitter and be loved yeah. and be beloved. He just became a mod. In everybody hates mods, <laughs> except our mods. We love our mods. Oh, a mod. He became a mod. But you know, that's the stereotype. Is like the the mods suck. Fuck the mods or whatever. And everyone he's is a mod now. He just he fucked himself so bad by buying Twitter. He flew too close to the sun. The guy feels invincible. Everyone is going to hate his guts in a year or two's time <laughs> because Twitter needs some regulation. Otherwise, it turns into a cesspool. And everybody is going to justly or unjustly blame him for whatever's happening. Mm -hmm. Let's say Marjorie Taylor Greene, Marjorie and Taylor Greene posts, you know, the most obscene, like an image of like a dead, a dead. Mus a Muslim person, just something that's like so beyond the pale. Mm -hmm. Twitter's going to remove it, rightfully, and then the conservatives, they turn it into a whole new thing where it, whatever happened is no longer what's happening in their dialogue. It's become a... I'm just saying, he, he yeah. whatever goes wrong on Twitter, now he's going to be the blame, and there's always going to shit go wrong on Twitter. He just fucked himself big time with this. Yeah, he staked out this position where he explicitly says that he is a free speech absolutist. An absolutist that on That will free not speech. hold true. Yeah, it's just, that's not a tenable position, uh, especially running a major social media company. He's like, really... There's going to be a degree of moderation, and it's going to piss somebody off. There's going to, there has to be a degree gonna of moderation. They're going to be like, you're a hypocrite, I thought you were an absolutist. You, you can't post uh, kitty, you can't post... Uh, Right, there are uh, extreme, there are obvious extreme examples that it's like, oh, of course we'll remove exactly. that, but then so, where do you draw the line, and like, it gets complicated really fast. Exactly. Yeah. People are going to test the boundaries. He's really dumb for doing this, in my opinion. It's also, you're spending $44 billion on a company that's like never turned a profit, or is like barely ever turned a profit. I mean, maybe he'll be able to turn it around uh, and start making money, but, but all of the ways... All the ways to further monetize Twitter, that's going to piss people off, too. You 100%. know what I mean? So, because everybody always gets mad. You know, all of a sudden there's going to be fucking microtransactions if on Twitter. If Twitter and... ever makes a profit, it will be done so to the point where people don't want to use it anymore. Right. So, yeah, Oh, I don't he know. made a statement? Um, 
Yeah, some a, people are joking that he did. He spent forty-four billion just to ban uh, Hassan. <laughs> the other thing I've seen is that joke, or there's an account that tracks all of his flights. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be interested to see if he bans that kid. <laughs> all right, so here's his statement: Cracker. Free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy, and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. That's generous. <laughs> right, yeah. I, when, we're talking when, about the same website? Oh, oh, yeah, hold the fucking phone. Oh, you're talking about the Twitter we're all on? Where the fuck is... It, where, are, where are meaningful debates happening on Twitter? I miss that. Uh, Mr. Musk said, I also want to make Twitter better than ever by enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust... I think that's interesting because you see a lot of bitching about shadow banning, shadow shadow ban, which I don't ban. think is real. I've, I've never thought it's real. Eh, it's probably real. I don't think it's as prevalent as people think. Definitely well, not. There's definitely automatic shadow banning for people who spam and stuff. Yeah, that I'm takes you out of that. Yeah, I think to some degree that probably does exist. But if I you think, make it open source and you make the algorithm open source, it's going to be so easy to game it. Like, I think there's probably a... F that's a... I don't know where I really land on that debate because these algorithms are like fucking ruining our society. And so like, I understand the impulse to want to make it public, but also making it public, like, doesn't that make it way fucking easier to manipulate and write bots and like all, like there is an argument for why these things are secrets, you know? Uh, well, yeah, I don't the, know. the fear mongering psycho conspiracy theorists, I feel like the more open you are, the more crazy they're going to become anyway. Cause they'll be like, look, there's no such thing as shadow banning. They'll be like, sure. Fuck face. Just Lock. watching you my believe him? get crushed. <laughs> Defeating spam bots and authenticating all humans. I mean, in theory, it doesn't sound bad. I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. But I know it's gonna, they're going to turn on him. But I am interested. I'm interested to see how it develops. It really isn't important. I mean, they're, they're, that's the thing. Like, I'm fascinated. I'm interested. I'm going to eat popcorn while watching this all go down. That being said, whatever is happening on Twitter is very insignificantly important to what's happening you know in the world but i am interested the accountability aspect is definitely interesting yeah it will change the way people act so. authenticating all humans sounds great twitter has tremendous potential i look forward to working with the company and the community of users to unlock it okay you know let's go let's do it i'm here for it i think it's i think it's ridiculous and not that important, but I'm here for it, right? Just saying. Just saying. I like Elon Musk. He's like, the most important things are electric vehicles, colonizing Mars, and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what about stealing memes, Elon? What are we doing about that? True crime. Mm hmm The real crime, yeah. That's at the top of the list. Yeah, top priority. We need to authenticate memes... <laughs> Turn all memes into NFTs. I was just going to say, yeah, <laughs> they all have to be in the blockchain. Yeah, uh, that's funny. What do you guys think? Are you pro Elon buying uh, Twitter or anti or you don't care? Poll. Can we get a poll, please? I'd be very interested to, you know, like you, see where he takes it. Yeah, you it's going to be it's... great to watch. It's going to be fun. Interesting. I mean... I think it's silly, though. I'm curious how drastic it's going to change. Like, um, but yeah, it's definitely interesting. Historical. Dan, here's a nice comment about mm. you. Uh oh. They said, "Hi, Foon." Said Dan, "You are my inspiration. I'm 17, and I want to be just like you someday. Hopefully, not bald, though." <laughs> 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 Got him. Nice. So well, keep on that grind. Go off, King. Only ten percent are for it. Mm, tough crowd. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm with you guys. I'm either. I think it doesn't matter. Versus, I think it really doesn't matter. But since it's, I, I, I want. I like it for the same reason I want Trump to become president again. You know, 
Let's just get some stuff. You cooking. don't really want him to become president again. No, do you? but if it's going to happen, let's enjoy the ride. It's just Twitter. Twitter is not that important, guys. Twitter isn't that important. Like, I think the the fallacy is we start to think Twitter is important. Clearly, Elon Musk has bought into that narrative. Yeah, he's obsessed. Twitter is not that important. Nothing important happens on Twitter. The only thing that ever has consequence of Twitter is when people post something so dumb on Twitter, it ruins their life, which you see sometimes. <laughs> right. But Twitter is not important. Nothing good has any, I mean, just genuinely speaking, it's just, if uh, Twitter erased tomorrow, the world would have zero consequence. I truly believe that. Yeah. And In the, fact, that might be the good, that might be the best outcome of Elon buying Twitter. Yeah, he'd, I'd, I'd change my opinion overnight if he did that. <laughs> That'd be kind of awesome. <laughs> like, just like, all right. deuces. <laughs> all right. <laughs> be sweet <laughs> but yeah i mean like mega rich billionaire guy owning media company or, or social media company this is not anything new to society whatsoever uh he is far from the first to do this and yeah i guess it really yeah it comes down into how much you think that twitter is like a genuine inf he, he seems to think it is the modern day public square where all public debate happens and and you know it's it's the most important influential social media platform so if you believe that then nobody believes you that. could see this as a big move guys when have you ever seen a nuanced interesting conversation on twitter like genuinely one time it yeah. was it was about uh, movie posters about like uh Underrated movie posters or something. It was pretty amazing. Town I got, Square. I got lost. Town in Square it. status. <laughs> you heard it here. Movie posters. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of an obvious take, maybe even low hanging fruit, but if you have $44 billion to spare and your whole shtick is caring about humanity and humanity forward and stuff, there's got to be a better use for that money. Right? $44 billion? There's yeah. Got to be a better use for that money. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Probably. Two things. Think There's of a couple gotta things. be, like you could build public housing, basically, in every major uh, metropolitan city. I would think with that much money, but I don't know. Maybe forty-four billion dollars isn't that much money when you get on the grand scale of national debt. You know, talking about like trillions of dollars. Of oh debt. sure, I mean the U.S. government spends forty-four billion on a fucking jet plane that crashes into the ocean in a month you know what i mean but it, it's definitely a different scale but yeah there are likely far better uses uh of that kind of money than but mark my Twitter. words the one thing i am predicting out is this is that he is going to regret this it is going to ruin his reputation and everybody's going to hate him after a year after he takes over is going to be universal disdain for elon musk Result, Christian, and, and by the way, he's been shitting on Bill Gates. You know how everyone turned on Bill Gates? Well, I'm telling you now, by the time Elon buys Twitter and finishes his whole shit posting career, he is going to crescendo with being absolutely canceled, ruined, and reviled by every person on this planet. Mark my words. And everybody loves that too. They go, whoa, they love that whole Batman quote. Uh, uh, well, what's the Batman quote they say whenever when anyone does anything? Uh, die the hero or live long enough to become That's the villain. That's it. He's one hundred percent going to be. He's going to live long enough to be the villain. Just wait and remember what I said. He's going to be the most hated man. One of the most hated men by the time he's over. Mark my words. We live in a society. You think that's what he'll uh, transform into? What? You think he'll transform the the Batman to we live into in a society? That's what he's gonna say. Yes, sec. Say what? Never mind. I know what it's you're. I know money. the two references you're doing, but Forget together it. I'm having trouble with this. Is he gonna become the Joker? I guess I don't know. But yeah, no, that's an interesting concept. I didn't think of prior. I mean, he definitely just made himself a huge target. For everyone on Twitter. Everyone that loves him for buying Twitter is going to hate his guts. Because Twitter needs moderation. I know a lot of you already hate him. This is a left-leaning podcast, right? Like, a lot of us already dislike him. But the people that love him, and there is a lot right now, who are celebrating him, are going to fucking hate his guts. 
because he has to moderate Twitter. He has to. No, you didn't. <laughs> or, exactly. he do- or he doesn't, and it just turns into fucking 4chan, essentially, and completely... And then they're going to hate him for that. Right. <laughs> so, you know, it's a, it's a lose-lose. He got himself into the worst situation through pure ego, and I'm just telling you, everyone's going to hate his guts with peace and love. Also, I'm pretty sure he's actually just a really shitty guy. And as more people turn on him, there's going to be lots of, like, hit pieces that are going to come out. Ex-significant others. Uh, ex-employees. Shady business dealings. It's all going to come out as people dislike him more and more. Especially the conservatives. And I'm just telling you, man. This is it. This is the end of, of uh, good guy Elon. Yeah, good lead-in. Let's talk about the, these huge Elon Musk accusations that dropped um, yesterday. And the whole timeline of this is great, you know. Basically, he's been tweeting nonstop about how he, he comes out as Republican the day before. What was the timeline here? It, it's, it's So uh, what... What he came out as Republican three hours after um, being contacted by the reporters and asking for comment on these essay uh, mm-hmm. allegations, and uh, de- declared himself a, a Republican and warned of dirty tricks to come against him. Oh, here's the timeline. Yeah, this person wrote it up. It was really good. He goes, Elon historically donated to both Democrats and Republicans. Uh, you know. Unionization efforts started gaining steam nationwide, which uh, has a negative effect on his business. Debatable, you know. You want your workers to be happy, right? Yeah, negative on who? I was just saying, maybe his bottom line, but I think more productive workers probably do better work, but Mm -hmm. hey, I'm not, I don't own Tesla. Um, Business insider journalists contacted him for comment on an essay piece before they published it. And then Elon quickly spams tweets about how political attacks are coming, mm-hmm. and it's the woke left's fault. He literally started tweeting three hours after being contacted. So as this insider piece comes out, he's actually successfully uh, convinced people that this is a political smear because he came out as Republican. I've seen so many people, including the quartering, who I, I, have a, I know he's dumb, but how can he be that dumb to be like, just he he literally was like 24 hours after he came out as Republican, the smears are already coming. What's funny about that is that the other way around. Well, what mm-hmm. exactly? No. And it's so obvious. It's so obviously and the other way around. It's always done like that. <coughs> they always reach out to you a little bit before, try to get a comment. It's like you know it's coming. They said they even extended the deadline to give him more time to comment. But what's interesting about this is this incident happened six years ago, and. This conversation he's been having with Business Insider obviously predates his proclamation that he's a Republican. It's so obvious spin that you have to be the... I mean, some people don't follow all of it, so I, I can understand people following it. But the quartering, I know he's dumb, but, like, you can't be that dumb. Dumb. He, like, he literally tweeted, only 24 hours later, and they're already going after him. I was but like, it, you're it not that dumb, right? Pull that tweet up, would you? It goes back to what we were just talking about. He built this cult like following. And so they're already so deep invested in every little tweet that he makes. Yeah. He's got an army ready I agree. to defend him. Because all the Quarterings fans love Elon. He doesn't want to go against the family, but he knows. He knows. I don't know. He's, it's all dumb. I mean, he's got to know. So the story is, and I read the article. God, he looks like such a fucking villain in this photo, doesn't he? I seen this photo of him. I'm just like, dude, what the fuck, bro? Such a pasty little freak. We don't need to make fun of his looks, right? I think he well, he's a villain. He's a pasty little fucking. Uh, anyway, okay, fine. No, phys- no making fun of his looks, okay? Uh, so what happened was allegedly. A flight attendant for SpaceX alleges that Elon Musk asked her to do more during massage. 
straight out of the Epstein playbook. Pretty interesting how it's always the massage. She accused Musk of, oh, here's the, is this the quartering what, one? What, is what was this? the name of the, um, that uh, Epstein doc that was like specifically about his like activity? Yeah, I saw that. House in uh, Palm uh, Beach or it whatever. It was on right. Netflix. What was it? Um, God, I don't remember. Somebody in the chat, what, what was it called? Filthy Rich. Filthy Rich. Was that what it was called? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the description of the allegation is, I, I think, literally exactly the same pattern yeah. that Epstein was doing at that house in Palm Beach. Right. They talk about how he would, um, they had this whole system to go and get young girls to come over to their house to give him a massage. And then basically it would escalate into right, exactly. sexual massage. But this is what Elon's doing now to deflect. The attacks against me should viewed, be viewed through a political lens. This is their standard despicable. He's talking more and more like Trump. It's pretty incredible. Totally. Playbook. I but saw nothing that will deter me for fighting for a good future and your right to free speech. This uh, tweet, like... <sighs> is, is an NDA... So many how does levels. NDA work with free speech? Just curious. Because <laughs> this, he made them sign an NDA. I'll tell you one thing that's not disputed. He paid this girl $250,000 to shut up. So is mm -hmm. NDA, how does NDA mesh with free speech? I'm confused. Mm, not, well, it seems to be a contract. It's part of the to... story, isn't it? Because um, <laughs> there is like, in here in LA, they're working on making that now, they're working on changing the law so that NDA, when it comes to sexual misconduct, won't be. Right, that's why some people speculate he moved to Texas mm -hmm. because of that change. They law. can no longer use NDAs and settlements for essay stuff which is really interesting law actually and uh all of a sudden elon musk can't wait to get out of california interesting um so anyway let's continue also here's the quartering tweet just show you what an absolute fucking moron he is like you know when i first read this i was like oh he even quartering sees through this but then i saw I haven't seen what he said. So, here's the headline. Uh, SpaceX flight attendant said Elon Musk exposed himself and propositioned her for sex. Uh, document show the company paid her 250000 for silence. Uh, quartering says, the day after he say he's voting Republican, not even 24 hours later. By the way, the dude was having a threesome with Amber Heard and knocking up Grimes. Elon bags his own pussy. See, that's the problem. They all, like, idolize him so much. You can't do no wrong. It's like, it's just crazy what he managed to create. It really is a cult. So, yeah, there are people that dumb out there. Mm -hmm. It's pretty incredible. So it, it says that Elon exposed his, you know, fully torqued member to her. Was rubbing her leg without consent. I guess I should give a trigger warning. People are sensitive to this stuff. Too late. I already said the worst part, basically. And this is a kind of the interesting part. Offering to buy her a horse in exchange for an erotic massage. Now, I was like, I was wondering, is that a good deal? Is that a good trade, a horse for a handy? I mean, no, I know well, you want to actually get into that. So what's more interesting to me about this story is also she was a flight attendant. OK, and they pushed her into getting lessons on becoming a masseuse so she can give him massages so she would be booked on more flights yeah. and they encouraged her to do it on her own time and her own money here's the quote from the article they encouraged her to get a license as a masseuse but on her own time on her own dime they implied that she would get to fly more often if she were to do this because she would be able to give Elon a proper massage uh, I thought it was kind of strange because she wasn't hired to be a masseuse. Mm -hmm. She was hired to be a flight attendant. That's the kind of the Epstein. Yeah. The Epstein I mean, uh, slide. You're the richest person in the world. You, can't you hire would think masseuse? he can hire the best masseuse in the world. No, he wants them to do it. Pretty interesting, right? But um, no, but back to actually the really important question. Is a horse a good, is that a good payment? Well, for then, handbag? okay. So the reason I, I was going to answer that is that she kind of started to lose her shifts. So yeah, oh yeah, once she once So she, it's yeah. not just the horse payment, it's really like yeah, probably the horse was a good deal cuz she could have also kept her job. It's not just the horse. Yeah. But yeah, after she re after she said no, 
-hmm. They cut her hours and basically fired her because she wasn't wanting to play ball. He knew that she was into horses, so she, he said he'd buy her a horse. No, but seriously, how much <laughs> the horse cost? I just want to know the, the economics of this. Seeing anywhere from 3000 250000 like, Yeah, I think it, it just mm -hmm. depends it's, on the breed. Or... Sea biscuit. You ain't buying her sea biscuit. Buying you know what I mean? 3000 I don't think it's a good deal. <laughs> well, then you got to take care of a horse. J I mean, I'm, she, it sounds like she would would be the person that would want a horse based on what she, it said. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she was history. into horses, so, yeah, I mean. But, no, that's not a good deal because um, she's not a masseuse. She, she's a flight attendant, mm. and that would really lower her value as a person. Right, right, right. That's the so, serious answer. So if she actually has a job and, ma has, and if she gets a salary every month, she can buy her own a horse. Right. That's the serious answer. Thank self you. Self-esteem and be, you know. Nothing wrong with giving handies, though. If you want to. If that's what you're into. Yeah. But if you don't want to and you're coerced into it, right. that's bad. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if she wasn't getting to giving handies, mm -hmm. he could do better than a horse. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to make a joke here, guys. I'm trying to make. I know, I know you are, but I, I get, I get so, but see, I get so riled up about stories like that. No, you're I right. I can't even make jokes. You're right, but I mean, horse semen. Maybe he should have offered her horse semen because I know that's very valuable. Right. Actually, the most valuable uh, liquid on earth by, per ounce. So he maybe should have offered semen. Dogecoin. Yeah. She'd probably go for that. Dogecoin, yeah. <laughs> like a, you know, a load of sea biscuits jizz is like more valuable than gold by far. Semen tastes good. So maybe he should have offered that. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. So yeah, Just I mean, and, uh, let's see. I got some intel on this. Um, an an analysis of one of the major semen sellers, <laughs> hundreds of horses on file, <laughs> show an average of nine hundred dollars per dose. <laughs> so I guess a load of semen is only worth nine hundred. Yeah. Still impressive. Yeah, I mean, if you start selling. Your May, day. Maybe yep. a I gallon. Mean, by volume, price by yeah. volume, you know. It's very valuable. And if just the right height. And if, no if that semen is really required. good and you and you breed if like they're a world champ. Derby, uh winner, the ROI on that semen is crazy. Off, off the charts. When can we get horse semen coin? <laughs> just saying. I mean, gold has a gold is a commodity. Why isn't horse semen a commodity? Like I mean, that's a good store of value. Anyway, just making jokes here, guys. Don't get mad at me. So he offered to buy her a horse. Everyone's so mad at me right now. I'm just no, kidding. I'm not real. I'm I not don't reading. think anybody I'm, is I'm, mad I'm, at I'm you. reading the chat. I'm just kidding. I don't think so. <laughs> just saying, though. It is interesting. I love that. Just fact. saying. It's such an interesting fact, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, basically, she got less and less time, and SpaceX paid her 250000 Thowie. As part of a severance agreement. That's a lot better than a horse. Yeah. Just saying. Just Unless saying. it was Seabiscuit. Right. But doubt it. But that's more Seabiscuit's more than that. Seabiscuit jizz? <laughs> I think uh, On the open well, that market? was an average, what he cited. Yeah, that was the average. Yeah. Type how much how much is it for C for well, world we class horse jizz? I think that okay. uh, the the I think one of the most expensive was Secretariat. Yeah, how much was that? I'm sure we can find it that sounds like he was just offering a horse, like any horse. I don't. Otherwise, they would have mentioned the name, you know. If it was like a. I'm gonna buy you the. I'm gonna buy you sea biscuit, baby. Yeah. I don't know what I'm <laughs> typing. I don't. Know. How, how <laughs> much is a sea biscuit load the most worth? Say world most expensive horse semen. I'm sure it will most pop up. Yeah. <laughs> don't be. Don't be ashamed, uh, Ab. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Go ahead, drum roll, Zach. <laughs> Ready? Drum roll. Supposedly, winning big star semen is 4.7 million. What? Whoa, for one load? <laughs> Wealthy investors are willing to pay Ooh. high prices for a proven winner semen. Whoa. 4.7 million for one load? I'm sure the, the horse that just I mean, won the Kentucky Derby, I'm sure his, his loads will be uh, worth a pretty penny. Dude, that's nuts, man. Can you imagine if someone paid you five million dollars to jerk off? That's awesome. Oh It'd my god. It'd be funny if that applied to people like uh semen of like the smartest person in the world. Yeah. Einstein semen? That's <laughs> yeah. fucking Look valuable. Can you imagine if you had Einstein semen? People would be crazy about that. Mm. That'd be people very What about Elon that. Elon Musk semen? That should right. be pretty valuable. Yeah, too. people would pay for that. Thank All right. You. Thank you so this much. This is theoretical. Well, you get it for free. Over twenty million dollars <laughs> worth of semen. <laughs> In eight months. If she was really unscrupulous, the play would be to like, I'm not even gonna go there. 
<laughs> yeah, let's Use not. your imagination. From everywhere in my room. <laughs> okay, dude. Stop, what? stop doing it. Stop, stop using that Can one. Can I suggest <laughs> a <laughs> owl or something next time? Uh, Elon wrote on Twitter. Well, first, when they called him for, for a comment, he, he gave them a really interesting response. He said, there's much more to the story. That's what he told Insider. So he didn't actually deny it, which I thought was kind of damning and weird. Mm-hmm. Um, but now, so that's what he told Insider. And then, and now he's and then flat he out said, denying it. but also he said, there's more to the story. That's like what every guilty person always says. Just wait until you hear it from my point of view. Yeah. I'll Just say, wait until the, the truth is revealed. No, it's total. It's totally in- incriminating. Mm-hmm. Like it also more just makes, I mean, I know he obviously didn't mean it this way, but it makes him sound like he's saying, oh, yeah, there's a lot of girls like this. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's so much more to this story. <laughs> obviously, he didn't mean it that what way. What I but, heard it as. But that's why he, sh- he should have just not said anything. What I heard it as is this definitely happened. Mm-hmm. That's right. what I heard. <laughs> and then another interesting detail in the article that corroborates it, or is interesting, is that at the mediation with the flight attendant, Musk personally attended it. Mm-hmm. Right. right. I read that. That's too. pretty crazy. Uh, here's the tweet I was talking about, by the way. How would they get all this information if they didn't do proper research on the story? I think the friend provided all that. I mean, they confirmed it, but I don't think they did much research. And just being honest, I think they got all. They corroborated the info. Mm-hmm. Just saying. You know. Musk uh, responded. He's on Twitter. He said, "I have to challenge." I have a challenge to this liar who claims their friend saw me exposed. Describe just one thing, anything at all, scars, tattoos, that isn't known by the public. She won't be able to, so, because it never happened. You know what that tells me? That's such a bad response. You know what that tells me? You could go and get a tattoo right now and say this was there and she didn't call it out. Like, what? It tells me that he's been specifically ready to use this excuse when this happened inevitably because he doesn't have tattoos. He doesn't have distinct Sounds body Sounds like he's marker. being advised by our lawyer from TikTok. He's yeah, saying, right. <laughs> go and say you drank afterwards. You weren't drinking while you were driving. Totally. It's like the same logic. Hit and run. Get Let's a tattoo go. afterwards. Let's go. And she didn't know about that tattoo being there, so she wasn't there. Yeah, but if I was like a crusty old guy who's been doing this for a while, and I, like my, me, I don't have any tattoos. I don't have any markings on my body. I don't have anything weird going on with my penis. Just saying. Right? I wouldn't know how to describe it. It's like regular. So, and then like, what, so. What is there to say? I described it in detail in that uh, Bobby Lee episode the other day. <laughs> I described it in detail? Yeah. Oh. I don't know how much detail I described it in, but. Um, <laughs> but it's a, nor- it's a normal looking penis is my point. And so this challenge is so obscene. It's disgusting, one. And two, it's like a fucking joke. I mean, it's mm-hmm. so ridiculous. Um. It just doesn't prove anything, you know. It's I don't know. I, I just feel like this is not the response for somebody who didn't do it. <laughs> no, and he actually took it further. He said, um, what's this one here I've highlighted? D- is this what he wrote or did he tweet this? This is how he uh, responded to Insider. He said, this is what he told Insider. If I were inclined to engage in SA or SH, this is unlikely to be the first time in my entire 30-year career that it comes to light, he wrote, calling the story a politically motivated hit piece. I mean, it's funny. If you take what the quartering said and responses like that, it makes way more sense when you look at him coming out as a Republican saying political hits are coming against mm-hmm. me right before this story comes out. Like, that's so fucking obvious. The attacks yeah. against me, he tweeted, should be viewed through a political lens. This is standard. Oh, we already read Despicable. this. Despicable. Yeah. I hate how at the end it's like, uh, everything I'm doing is for you. I'm doing more for the world than any human alive. Just let me not follow the rules. What's I, I, I'm doing so handy. much for you. Come on. Come on. Actually, I do think they actually have that opinion. When you become that billionaire yes. and you have that such an inflated yeah. ego, you go, I am saving humanity. I'm not you could supposed at least to play by their rules. Hand job. The least you could do is give me a hand job. The rules do not also, apply to billionaires. It. You can rationalize a million, a million ways like 
like I'm not going down for a fucking hand job. Like I'm too important, you know. And he's probably correct. I mean, Epstein did it for like no, his whole yeah. life. And yeah, and Epstein, nobody even liked that guy to begin with. So. Right. Good luck with Elon. But you know, it's just interesting to see it all kind of playing out. Um, I don't know if there's anything else really. Elon asked her to come in his room uh, for a full body massage. When she arrived, the attendant found that he was completely nude except for a sheet covering his lower half of his body. During the massage, Musk exposed his genitals and then touched her and offered to buy her a horse to do more. That's awesome. The horse thing is just so fucking weird and bizarre. Although Epstein only paid him like 20 bucks or something, so. Very, uh, uh, Genghis Khan. <laughs> yeah. An issuing horse. I'll buy you a land. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy a the old, uh, horse for a handy. Yeah. <laughs> it's also this kind of like, he's so rich, he goes, everyone's got a price. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. got a price. He probably thinks, himself, I can get a hand job from anybody. Mm-hmm. Well, would you get, would you jerk him off for a billion dollars? Oh, I would do a lot more what than the that. Fuck? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Exactly. Everyone has his price. He's right. He just went too low with the horse, honestly. He should have <laughs> given her cash. Horse and a stable. Right. The stable would have <laughs> come in. The stable could have sealed the deal. I'm kidding, guys. Please. Come on. Don't fucking kill me here. Please. Come on. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> just saying. So, <laughs> yeah, so, again. Uh, in 2008... Um, after becoming convinced that her refusal to accept Musk's proposal had diminished her opportunities at SpaceX, the attendant hired a lawyer and sent a complaint to the HR department. Around that time, the attorney's firm contacted the friend and asked her to prepare a declaration. The attendant's complaint was resolved quickly after a session with a mediator that Musk personally attended. I find that very interesting. Mm-hmm. He went there in person. That's pretty intense. This is a busy guy with a huge inflated ego. You know, he doesn't show up to shit unless it's important. Um, the matter never reached a court of law or even arbitration. In November 2018, Musk, SpaceX, and the flight enter, uh, attendant entered into a severance agreement for 250000 thousand. An exchange never to sue, and I'm sure it had a nice juicy. The agreement also included a very restrictive NDA and non disparagement clause that barred the attendant from ever discussing the severance payment or disclosing any information of any kind about Musk or any of his businesses. And this is really interesting. Just months after her settlement in 2018, the government, Jerry, uh, Jerry Brown, then the governor of California, signed into law the Stand Against Non-Disclosure Act, which bars the use of NDAs going forward in settlements involving, uh, you know, SH, discrimination or assault, unless they are requested by the plaintiff. Now, what's the timeline of, of Musk wanting to leave California? It was a few years later, and like, yeah. I didn't I mean, know about that, Bill. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean... I even said that last night when we were talking about it somewhat facetiously of, well, this is why he wanted to leave Texas. Um, but, um, cause you know, I think it had much more to do with, um, them trying to, uh, close his factories during the COVID outbreak and everything and him yeah. being unwilling to do that. And you know, that, that makes more sense for him to move out of California. Yeah, uh, he was getting reason. triggered. But the timing is interesting that, you know, no more sexual harassment. NDAs and do their grid the, later he's out dude the <laughs> guy runs a huge manufacturing plant that relies on robots and Texas can't even fucking keep their grid online like it's just <laughs> it's not that True. advantageous to be there I'm just saying um so he so again remember when insider called him he said there's more to the story but now on Twitter 
he's denying it outright. He says, where were these wild accusations against Elon Musk before he took a stand against the establishment? When did he do that? When did he <laughs> take a stand against the establishment? I must have missed that tweet. <laughs> he is the establishment, dude. You're the richest person in the world. Yeah. Like, who are you taking a stand against? Exactly. God, I missed that, that when that happened. He stood against the establishment. Exactly, he says. Fucking the nailed fact it. That terrible. He's even like echoing this kind of like replying to comments like this and totally. saying exactly it's just all part of like his building total spin cult yeah and for the record like nobody normal would do that and just a random twitter person terrible it's like 808 it's like okay and then he responds to that and for the record those wild accusations are utterly untrue see he didn't tell insider that interestingly when they asked for a comment remember he said there's more to the story. That does. That's very different than utterly untrue. Mm -hmm. And then that's when he, of course, challenges her to describe his penis, which, as you know, is the ultimate uh, test of dispelling uh, the well-known uh, penis description uh, mm -hmm. uh, phase of every case like this. Anyway. He keeps responding to these people. It's strange how their friend... You can go pee, Hila, if you need to. I just uh, love here this one reply, so I don't want to go, but... Mm. Let me read it then. Okay. It's strange how their friend is the one who came forward years after it supposedly happened while claiming they can't stay silent. It's a story based on hearsay. My friend said no proof. Exactly, Elon said. Moreover, the friend in question who gave the interview... Wait, what's B... What's that... Business Insider. Okay. B.I. Yeah. Is far left activist. Oh, the friend is a far left activist actress in L.A. With a major political act grind. It's like, okay, dude, like, shut up. That's just that's, like stupid. That's just weird. That means he knows who's the friend and he looked her up and what she's well, doing. Well, whatever he knows, he's just the way he's framing it. He's just trying to play. And then the the fact that he even replied to this at all and said exactly, and it's like, well, you know that you made them sign an NDA. So what do you mean exactly? It's like if the girl wanted to tell the story herself, she can't. Yeah. So, what happened to free speech though? Where are you going to mention that? I mean, He's fighting for free speech. Yeah, right, right. NDA. He's doing it for all of us. NDA is... You can't speak when you sign an NDA. That can't be that's right just, because um, Elon Musk is a free speech absolutist. No, that's just when it comes to enemies of the Musk, right? But if we're in it, we shouldn't worry. Right, he says absolutist though. He says I'm fighting for speech speech for everyone. Does that include the girl that signed the NDA? Not, not you. He goes free speech for everyone, not you. For I was saying free speech for everyone, not you, you, you. You signed NDAs. Um, no, it was. Uh, so he said, did you respond to Business Insider? He said no. It was clear their only goal was a hit piece to interfere with the Twitter acquisition. No, if anything, first of all, Business Insider, the only thing they're after, I'm being honest, is just getting clicks for the website. I don't think they care about and the Twitter And then he's saying the story was written before they even talked to me. So, like, how much before? Was it before the Twitter acquisition? That's normal, by the way. You write the story. But he's blaming it on the Twitter acquisition. When did, they, when did the story come up? I don't know. I have no long. I have no idea how long they've been writing. It would be interesting to find out. But that's how it works. I mean, you write the article and then you reach out for a comment. Yeah. So I've been permanently banned on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yes. 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 Thank you. Um, oh, by the way, I wanted to say quickly at the top, we brought back. I. I had to tape this because I don't know YouTube's a little, you never know with YouTube Elon Musk is a piece of sh a fan favorite an original design by moi we brought it back uh, for the limited time only to celebrate my Twitter uh, permanent ban and to say Elon Musk is a giant piece of shit and it's incredible how you can be worth 200 billion dollars and still be such a loser yeah the, I I knew I was gonna get banned yeah and that was kind of the point why I thought it was su such a fun experiment because, so Elon makes this great proclamation. First of all, my favorite, he goes, comedy is, what did he say when he bought Twitter? Comedy is legal now. Comedy is legal now, right? <laughs> he said that. 
44 billion dollars comedy is now legal on twitter oh my god thank you thank you oh go and then <laughs> fast fast forward two days or something i think it was like six days he goes going forward any twitter handle engaging in impersonation without clearly specifying parody will be permanently suspended <laughs> By the way, another funny thing is that when he came in, he said, we're re-examining all permanent suspensions. I don't believe anyone should be permanently suspended. He also tweeted that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now here I'm suspended for dunking on dumbass sink-carrying bitch boy. Elon Ma. Elon Ma. So, uh. apparently Sarah Silverman also got, uh... She got back. She got, she's back, right? Yeah. yeah, Sarah's back. She said, I'm a free speech absolutist and I eat duty for breakfast every day. That's what she said and she changed her name to Elon and she had his logo and she got suspended for a week for that. Uh, I thought comedy was back, bro. Comedy is back. Damn. It seems like comedy had more freedom before Elon bought Twitter though. At least in my experience, and Sarah's. Yeah, but she's back. Uh, Griffin said, she, you know, Elon Musk, Kathy Griffin said, after much spirited discussion with the females in my life, I've decided that floating blue is for their choice, for their choice is only right. So, a light goof. I mean, a really light goof. Nothing like what I tweeted out. But that's what freedom of speech is, right? Like, it doesn't matter what people say. You defend it regardless. That's... Absolutist. You, an absolutist. Again, that's his term. An like, absolutist is like, let's post gore. Let's post, like, pedophilia. Let's that's, go. That, that's, like, no exception. Absolutist. <laughs> no, but, like, the, the uh, concept of free speech, of course, isn't about speech that you agree with. You know that then you got no problem there. You're ha but it, it's about how you treat speech you don't agree with. That's like the whole fucking idea, because that's when it's a problem. Uh, so she got was she permanently suspended or is she back? She's not back yet. Yeah, because on mine, if you go to her Twitter, does it say temporarily or permanently? Because mine says permanent. I got, I got got big time. They got you. Oh yeah. Account suspended, Twitter suspends accounts that violates Twitter rules. That's it. I'll so if back. you go to mine, what does it say? Does it say the same thing? Yours says account suspended. That's oh, the same thing. Mm. So yep. she gone. She gone gone. Well, anyway, when I saw Elon tweet this, I was like, oh, dude, this is awesome. Like, this is fucking awesome. Just a week ago, he's talking about how comedy is back. Comedy's legal again. And then now he's talking about how I'm going to be permanently banning people. <laughs> Who don't, Ela had a really funny point. She's like, what do you want? You need like, uh, Twitter handles are going to end up like 2015 YouTube pranksters. Like, gone wrong, gone sexual, parody, yeah. <laughs> prank. Yeah. It's, it's a prank, bro. Also, you need, if it's that easy to impersonate someone, I think the problem is with the platform. Right, they could just make it the verified accounts can't change their name. That's easy solution. Done, exactly. Done. Like, easy. why the fuck? Are you going to give me the tools to do this goof and then permanently ban me for it? Yep. Also, he said that <laughs> if verified users change their name, they'd lose their verified mark. And so I said, okay, cool. I'm going to change my name and lose my verified mark for the, for the laugh. And I, I didn't lose it. Mm. It's like the guy's just making shit up as he goes. I mean, clearly. So I said, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my... Uh, account a uh, makeover let me show what it looked like first what i did is i'm trying to find my banner yeah they're in this album okay so here's first thing i did is i made this my header parody account i just drew it on my phone i said look i just want to be clear in the info it says parody account okay and then the header it says parody account and under tweet every, under every tweet i said it's a parody account it's in my info and header so, as far as I'm aware, as far as what he wrote out, I satisfied his rules of clear- his rules? What rules? What rules, you what son rules, of a bitch? What rules? I satisfied his requirement, no?
I think he needed to have it in the handle. He did not specify that. And as I far mean, as I'm aware, bro, yeah. I said parody in the fucking header, in the info, and under every uh, every goddamn tweet, I said it's a parody, guys. It's a goddamn parody. Here's the XHAX3 podcast, by the way. Looks great. <laughs> Watch that. Elon has had some pretty fucked up haircuts. He might actually sport that. Is that a, did you Photoshop like his cheeks at all? That is unphotoshopped. His cheeks What's going match. On? Whoa, it's crazy looking. They match the swoops like melting on Hi. Ethan's hair. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's the same direction. What about his hair color? Did you change his hair color? Uh, I might have touched that a little bit just to make it match. Just to make body. it pop. Yeah. Wow. Good. Love the de- attention to details. So I d- I said look. I've satisfied, I read his tweet and I said, I've satisfied my requirements. I'm pretty sure in the terms of service, it probably says it in the, like in the more official thing. Well, he said before we would just suspend them. But now, now that the free speech absolutists came in, uh, we're permanently banning them. No questions asked. (laughs) And I don't know. I disagree, Dan. I think I met. I, I mean, I'm not. I didn't go through the terms of service and read it. But I, I, th- I as far as I wear, I was like, look, I, I. Even his tweet, he says handle. He specifically says handle. What the fuck does uh, you your handle is your display name? Pull it up. Uh, you just had it up a second ago. Uh, it's the one where he says starting, starting immediately. Blah blah blah. Here, permanently ban Twitter. We need to do a poll to find out if people think that I was clearly labeled. He says clearly labeled as a parody account. Now, I don't know what more I can do. And now I'm and now I'm creating FOMO off of Twitter and it's their <laughs> lot. <laughs> Where's his damn tweet? I sent it in Discord. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but now we're rolling out Western in the morning. Here, I, I pulled it up. Here it is. He said... Previously, we issued a warning before suspension, but now we're rolling out a widespread verification. There'll be no warning. Above it. Go up one tweet. Yeah. Going forward, any Twitter handles engage. Oh, handles. He's just saying Twitter accounts. That just means Twitter accounts. The handle is the handle, my dude. No, a Twitter account. That's how you refer to a Twitter account, a Twitter handle. What? A, what that's it. That, that, that doesn't mean your fucking tweet at. And again, if there's a failing of... Of understanding, it's on the t- platform side, bro. Yeah, I agree. carelessness of the Twitter organization. Like, also, it just underlies how fucking dumb his whole plan is. He goes, "We are going to democratize verification, and also anyone who starts impersonating is going to be permanently banned because we have no way of verifying people anymore." Right. Because <laughs> everyone can buy verification. Oops. Free speech within this very strict guideline. Free speech for eight dollars a month. Yeah, that's premium speech. Yeah. Can we do a poll? I want to know if people think I was clearly labeled as a parody account or not. I mean, I, sure, I'll do a poll. Yeah. To be you. clear, I mean, I I don't think it really matters either way because obviously he's just going to ban whoever he wants. Which, frankly, is why point that was it's his point. prerogative. He that owns was, Twitter. You can ban whoever the fuck he wants. But yeah, they're the was, ones that are always yeah exactly. That's the point I was trying to make, bro. He's not. A free speech absolutist. He's a fucking petty little goon who literally spends all of his time on Twitter. This guy's eight kids and like 20 companies, and this man spends fucking 20 hours a day on Twitter. It's embarrassing. Stop. Uh, was Ethan's account. Your kids need a, their uh, dad, bro. Was Ethan's account. What? I don't know how to word this. That was, uh, was my. Uh, w- was w- Ethan's a clown account. Clowned? A clown tan? <laughs> Sorry, Freudian slip. <laughs> You was Dan you Israeli clown, good. as Jordan Peterson once called you. Dan has never looked good. <laughs> was Ethan's account uh, clearly labeled marked, as parody? Labeled Dan. as parody? Yes. yes or no? Ask your community. I'm no, asking ob- the community, right? Obviously, now. my point was like, dude, he's definitely gonna ban me. I'm gonna do exactly like he says, and he's definitely gonna ban me because he's a petty little bitch. And so that was kind of my thing going forward. And I had like. I was like 90% sure I was going to get, you know, banned going into this. And I just wanted to enjoy the ride. But, um, so I'll show you guys what went down. I mean, 82%, yes. And by the way, I'll say, usually when media reports on my mishaps, 
I feel like they are always covering it like, well, Ethan's a fucking piece of shit, and he really fucked up. Like, they never gave me the benefit of the doubt. But this is one of the only times when the media is covering it, and it's like Ethan cl had clearly uh, displayed that he was a parody account and still got banned. Thank you. Philly D, don't fuck me on this one, bro. <laughs> Did he put out his, his Philly D? Not yet. <laughs> okay, so let's read the tweets. It says, okay, let's go, let's go for it, bro. I went out guns blazing, okay? So here's my... Wait, this isn't it. So he says, okay, here we go. And by the way, it's not even his new logo. It's his old avatar. I said, and maybe this one it just seems a little too real. Maybe that's why it upset him. Even though Jeffrey Epstein committed horrible crimes, I do still miss him on nights like this for his warmth and com camaraderie. Rest in peace, old friend. And I think a, too many people thought that might be real, huh? But then I said right <laughs> under it, let it be known, it's a parody account. It's right there in the info. Uh, free, but before free speech dies, call me lives forever, hashtag free G Lane. Real funny, huh? Let's laugh it up! <laughs> Uh, I had so much fun. You guys, I hope you know how much fun I had. <laughs> we were cracking up. I was like, oh, it was the best time I've ever had on Twitter. It was just so much fun. Yeah, it was oh, so good. Here's my banner. I drew that. I don't know if you guys would believe this, but I, I actually made that on my phone. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Then I went on. I said, listen, G. Lane Maxwell is an extremely decent woman. Who I've had the pleasure of meeting several years ago, and that's true. There's a picture of them together. <laughs> Maybe you can pull that up. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, guys, Elon Musk is a piece of shit. Shirt is available for a limited time at TeddyFresh.com. Get yours today. Thank you. This is tape. It says shit under the tape, but yeah. So they're old friends, and look how happy he is to be there, and her especially. Hi. Hi. Not that's not Elon Ma. He would never. He would never. So he says she's a she, he, Elon Musk, a bizarre Elon Musk says she's an extremely decent woman. I had the pleasure of meeting several years ago. It's a shame how she's been demonized and ran over by the press. Hashtag free G Lane. E G. Jizzlane. No, I don't think it's Jizzlane. I think it's. Uh, no, it's not actually Jizzlane, but I like G Lane. G Lane. Thank you. <laughs> and there you go. He says parody accounts in my info and header, motherfuckers. Mm hmm. Okay, this one. Uh, this one I was getting a little creative with. I said Tesla Autopilot is only responsible for six accidental deaths. That sounds bad, but when compared to how many people die of car accidents, it's really not that serious. That's funny, because he actually says shit like that. Yeah, I mean, that one's fairly believable. Just, just saying. <laughs> I just like the idea of him saying explicitly that six accidental deaths was not that serious. Everybody dies. Very funny. I mean, come on. Work with me. And then there's this one. Um, yes, I could have ended world hunger instead of buying Twitter, but people don't understand the importance of having a free and open forum. If somebody dies of starvation in Sudan, it won't affect the world. But being able to say the N-word on Twitter is a right we all deserve. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's right on. I mean, you know. So, it, in essence, he should be thanking me. I'm doing PR for him. The N-word! <laughs> Stupid ass Trump, <laughs> idiot. This was another one. Uh, people are gonna say the N-word on Twitter. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to accept for the cause of free speech. That's funny. He's a white guy, he's willing to accept it. Work with me. Someone made a good point that if they force you to change your name back, that's gonna be an awkward tweet. <laughs> yeah, but I, I that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but I was never gonna change. I said I was committed to being an Elon Musk parody account for the rest of my days on Twitter. All thirty minutes of them. And I was actually I was in the. It's fast too. It was only like. I 30 think I had like an hour maybe. Yeah. But Who this the hell knows in my, these increasingly strange days. <laughs> this one was popping off, dude. The original Jeffrey Epstein one, yeah. and I was getting so many fucking followers during this time. I think everyone wanted to. Tune in for the fireworks and see what would happen. <laughs> uh, a bit of an old timey joke there, you know. Thank you guys. All right, let's do. So let's get into this fucking let's thing. Get into yeah. It. So I like many people are enjoying watching Twitter implode. My favorite. 
um, yesterday it was really popping off. There was this <laughs> news because Elon offered this ultimatum. I think this is it here. He called it Twitter 2.0. Here's a text message of the email must send to Twitter staff overnight. Those who don't commit to being extremely hardcore by 5 p.m. ET <laughs> today must leave the company. Now, again, this is insane because I said this before. With Tesla and SpaceX, he's able to exploit workers because they're passionate about the project. Mm -hmm. Twitter is not the same. Yeah, you're, you're spot on. These on are that. engineers and they want to be fucking paid and they want good working conditions. And if you don't give it to them, they'll easily get it somewhere else. And by the way, he should not have done that even with Tesla and SpaceX. Yeah, it just but shows what a shitty employer clearly is. clearly was doing that. And so basically he gave this ultimatum. He says, going forward to build a breakthrough Twitter 2.0 and succeed in an increasingly competitive world, we will need to be extremely hardcore. This means working long hours at high intensity. Only exceptional performance will constitute a passing grade. Bruh, I'm already out. How did he even put this in writing? I know. And there's so <laughs> many leaks. Like, I love how everything just goes public immediately. Can you imagine? Twitter will also be much more engineering driven. Design and product management will still be very important and report to me, but those uh, writing great code will constitute the majority of our team and have the greatest sway. I love that. He's like, hey, yeah, so hey, all you fucking losers, by the way, take a back seat. Yeah. Why would you even say that? Like, mm -hmm. why are you going on your way to diss the other departments? At its heart, Twitter is a software and server company and I think this makes sense. If you are sure that you want to be part of the new Twitter, please click yes on the link below. Anyone who has not clicked yes by 5 p.m. tomorrow, Thursday, will receive three months of severance and be fired. Whatever decision you make, thank you for your efforts to make Twitter successful. So, so the only right answer to this as an employee is to not click the link, in my opinion. Three months severance? Yeah, hell yeah. So it, it was reported that it, they started the day with 2,000 employees, and it was reported, I guess it's been amended, but what I heard is that they ended the day with, like, between two and 300. They lost, like, 90% of their workforce. No, it, it's definitely more than that. More? Well, the latest updates I've seen is about 1,200 employees quit yesterday. Wow. So and that's, like, 60% of their workforce. Yeah, uh, it, it's it was... Because they've already... He immediately fired half the staff at Twitter, like a few weeks ago when he came in, and then has been publicly firing random employees that like, criticized him on Twitter <laughs> yeah. over the last few weeks. And then this uh, ultimatum that he gave yesterday, it, I, I've seen various estimates. It sounds like about a half of the remaining people quit again, which I'm seeing estimated around 1,200, so it sounds like there's probably about 1,000 employees left at the company, whereas they started, when he came in, it was like it was 9,000 or something like that. 9,000? So, wow. Yeah. So we're, we're way Why down. Why have 9,000 employees? Well, that, what do you mean, why? I, I mean, that's, Twitter. I, mean, I don't know. It's running. Sounds like wall, you have the basically. same opinion as Elon. That's what he was saying. I mean, he's about I mean, to I'm find out. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know much about like the internet, but nine thousand employees run Twitter. I mean, well, who's like, moderating all the content? Know, basically, who's... every person in the world is on Twitter. So uh, we're seeing seventy five hundred. Just 75. So we're talking about moderating team and everything. Yeah, I mean, there's so all kinds sense. of things. Yeah, you and, at, and then they, they, their revenue comes from ads, so I'm sure a huge like ad sales department, and then all the administrative people, HR. With a moderating team, that, that makes sense, yeah. actually. Well, they, they spend hundreds of millions per year on innovation. It says on their uh, like, end of the year sheet. Innovation is Twitter. Yeah. Well, they they yeah, were like, hey, you can't even add an edit button. We went from 128 yeah. characters to 250. <laughs> Spent 100 million on intervention. That's been the biggest innovation. What the fuck innovation? Innov intervention? Literally 300 million dollars a couple of years ago they spent on one year. I'm sorry. Dave. Okay. Well, I'm good. I guess I uh, good job, that. Twitter, on the innovation service. Pushing us <laughs> forward in the future. Uh, Chelsea, by the way, thank you for the 10 gifted. You absolute. Queen. I sent AB a message on Discord earlier, but I am texting with my friend who got laid off from Boulder Office. He has some interesting information. I don't know what that. What is Boulder Office? The oh, Boulder that, Office of Twitter. Oh, let's get him on the line. We need it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need him. <laughs> Chill, Ninja. <laughs> yeah, so, um. Excuse me. <laughs> 
But the reports were super interesting. It was like people were getting locked out. Eventually, so many people left that they shut, they revoked badge access and they shut down all the offices. I and people were getting it. locked inside the office. <laughs> Elon had to beg someone to come back to open the doors for them. I don't know if that was a joke or if that was real. I think it was real. I think it was real too. <laughs> So, uh, from 15 minutes ago from New York Times, Twitter had 7,500 full-time employees at the end of October, which dropped to about 3,700 after mass layoffs. The employee number are likely to remain fluid as the dust settles on the exits with confusion abounding over who is keeping a tally of workers <laughs> and running <laughs> other workplace systems. <laughs> they don't even know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, the, it's, it's like the, they literally don't yeah. know how many people work for them anymore. They don't even have someone keep, like, counting anymore. They fired HR. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. Uh, it's a free for all there. It's like a battle royale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's even on payroll? There's going to be so many like uh, Milton from Office Space situations. Well, and they don't even know because <laughs> guess guess who else they lost? I guess their whole payroll department quit. So there isn't even anybody Holy in shit. payroll. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, the other thing that's interesting is how been are they going to run the next payroll? Dude, because be there's chaos. deadlines. You have I, to. I just wanted my stapler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so what's interesting is there's been a lot of whole departments leaving. There was like the server side, some really critical infrastructure. The whole team left. Yeah. And so here's some of the excerpts here. A number of engineers tending to multiple critical systems have been reduced to two, one, or even zero, according to people familiar with the situation who spoke on the condition of uh, anonymity of fear of retaliation. Elon retaliating? Never. <laughs> the crisis came in response to an ultimatum. We read that. I know of six critical systems like ser serving tweet level of critical, which no longer have any engineers, a former employee said. There's no longer even a skeleton crew manning the system. It will continue to coast until it runs into something and then it will stop. According to the New York Times, employees at Twitter just began hanging up as Elon Musk was <laughs> talking during a video conference call today. Wow. Apparently deciding to quit and take the severance. That's awesome. I mean, yeah, three months is pretty generous. I would totally take that. Yeah, good luck getting that with no payroll they're department, getting, though. Who's yeah, cutting the check? Oh, shit! I had the same thing. They're not going to get it. <laughs> they're not going to get it. No, nah, they're going to get stuck. Well, they might get it when <sighs> a lawsuit inevitably happens, but... I don't think they're getting paid until they I didn't think it. about that. I think he's just doing that for PR. Money! So that everyone's Money. not mad at him, but I don't think mm. any of those people are getting severance. Damn. He just wait, dude. The he's guy's going to get underwater. sued. Yeah, he's... Oh, yeah. Bet your ass he's going to get sued. Let's not talk about... How much money. wrongful termination? Yeah. How much... Uh, severance not being paid, and you know, this is in California, right? The labor laws here. Is it in LA? No, it's in San Francisco. San Francisco. The labor laws in San Francisco are insane, I'm sure, too. I'm familiar with LA because that's where we hear. As of six minutes ago, Andrew Tate is back on Twitter. Let's oh. fucking go. Wait, speech is free Shut again, up. baby. Free speech. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up on TikTok. He's letting everyone back on Twitter but me. No I'm jumper and me now. <laughs> <laughs> no jumper tweeted that out it, as an announcement for Jordan Peterson and Andrew Tate are now back on Twitter. That's what about game. me? Wow. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> I think he'll get banned, honestly. Unbanned. Maybe. I don't know. I think he's a butt hurt. Your I, account's I, still I, suspended, so yeah. as of right now. I have I have Mine a pretty is still suspended. <laughs> I have a pretty compelling <laughs> argument that this was a direct retaliation against me and Ela because he's actually butt hurt that we were goofy. <laughs> because I, 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 so let me just stop. That? Let me play it out. Let me play it out, Dan. Don't don't poo poo. <laughs> just listen to me. Andrew Tate's back on Twitter. Yes, just what the world needed. No. <laughs> so if if so if Jordan Peterson starts being like um, Elliot Page is. Elliot Page is destroying little girls' budding breasts. Starts going like that. What's gonna, is nothing going to happen? I would rails. presume not, because that's what he got banned for, and that and now he's unbanned. So I don't think awesome. that that's against the rules anymore. The mob. Is this real? The mob. Wait, is this real? Yes, yes, that's real. Oh. By the way, remember Jordan could have just erased that tweet and got back any time. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Andrew no. Tate, mastery is a funny thing. 
It's almost as if on a long enough time scale, losing simply isn't an option. Okay, bro. Oh, this was your grand scheme, right? <laughs> Such is the All way part of the, of the plan. Yeah, bro. I can't stop winning. I can't stop. This was all part of my master plan. Quartering? Oh yeah. Oh, is he is he Oh, he's he's let's see, quartering. He's pissing. Oh, he's ha I mean, okay, yeah, it is funny. That was the point. He the likes the joke. He's a low IQ inbred loser. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I. That's what I agree. I mean, yeah, I also think it's funny. So, I'm glad you like the joke I made. That was the whole point, right? Like, right. Okay. Dude, Jordan Got Peterson. It. I'm looking at his Twitter right now. He must have been going through massive withdrawals from Twitter because he's fully on a tweet bender right now. He's tweeting uh, like Pam, a million Pam, times. It was. You're not familiar. Jordan Peterson tweets like that every day. He is so unwell. Oh my God. He he's, tweets like a hundred times a day. Level. He's tweeted so much in the past. Yeah, it's uh, next level. He yeah. does that every day, and you wonder. This is one of the great intellectual leaders. He he he's he's unhinged. He posts seven tweets in a matter of like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he was doing no nut November. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what a shit show. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I'm counting right now. I'm at 23 tweets from today. Like in the last like hour? Last uh, within four hours. Okay. That's status quo for him. I'm serious. He is yeah, no, that not, sounds about right. He's the most psycho tweeter maybe uh, that I, I'm aware of. Twitter's a rat hole. Yeah, so anyway, um, oh yeah, and then, okay, so more reports are coming out. Twitter just alerted employees. At effect immediately, all offices are temporarily closed and badge access suspended. Apparently, because they were afraid of, of uh, disgruntled employees trying to sabotage or steal secrets or something. I don't know. Elon posted this, which actually, I was going through the replies. So all last night, everything was just rest in peace Twitter, Twitter's yeah. down, everyone's just saying their prayers. It was like, there's nobody left, it's just coasting along like on autopilot till it hits the damn side of the wall or something. And um, check this out. How do you make a small fortune in social media to start out with a large one? Okay. So I read the quote tweets. This is 100%. Like, I didn't see one supportive tweet. <laughs> I hate you. We all hate you, you fucking prick. You will never know love. You will never really truly fucking know if anyone loves you. Only toadies and psychophants know love. And you deserve it, you heartless fucking ghoul. Choke on your money. I was like, oh my damn. God. <laughs> and that has 500 likes, too. I was like, oh, shit. Wow. That's pretty fucking. Since we're being sincere, I just want to say that it was pretty shitty of you to buy something millions of people love and even rely on for their lives and livelihood and then set it on fire to amuse yourself. I actually thought that was a good point. Yeah. That is what's happening. Yeah. If I was given a choice where I could either be remembered as a visionary who took ma a man to Mars or a thin-skinned, incompetent, <laughs> universally loathed shitbag who spent $44 billion to destroy Twitter, I think I'd go a different way than you. Yeah, that's well said. I mean, they're all just bad, 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 bad. <laughs> you lost $44 billion and no one likes you. Let that sink in. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. What a mistake he did when he walked in with that sink. Dude. Like, do you so, not know how memes work? So crazy. Sir Elon. He thinks he does. <laughs> oh my god. But like, in fact, people still like him after this. But like, this is meme cuckdom. <laughs> like, if he, he is to memes what cucks are in the right ring world to betas or whatever the fuck. I mean. Bad news, sir. We had surprisingly few takers on our offer to work twice as hard as the same pay on a site that caters exclusively <laughs> to neo-Nazis. <laughs> Damn. Who could have seen this coming? There's a bit of Hitler in everyone. That's true. Oh, sure. That's a fair point. As this is all going on... Yeah. Meanwhile, actually, Twitter headquarters in San Francisco, this was even just straight um, being projected onto the building. <laughs> Elon Musk. Pressurized, privileged, petty, racist, megalomaniac, uh, worthless, billionaire. Here, let me. I don't think that's gonna get claimed, but a bankruptcy baby. Just play it anyway. Yeah. Supreme. You get the idea. Supreme parasite, petulant. Uh, they're they're really. Uh, 
playing with the apartheid profiteer. They're they're having a lot of fun there with the wordplay. That was just all in the building. It was a free for all. Um, so as all this is going on, <laughs> just saying you missed the funniest one, Space Karen. Space Karen. <laughs> I like that. That's a nice. Uh. That's a nice thing. So, okay, now this was Ela on her Twitter account. Okay, so last night <laughs> we were home just on our phones and I was like all consuming this shit, loving it. And I was like, hey, I never tweet. This is the time to tweet. Twitter is dying. Yeah. And so I was like, Ethan, what should I say? And then we were like, um, you know, Twitter went downhill since Ethan was banned. That was the first one. This has been downhill ever since yeah. they banned Ethan. And then Which is it, true, actually. That and, is actually true, right? And then we <laughs> both were like, related. this is so fun. Ethan, what else do you want to tweet? <laughs> and I, you know, first of all, this was all Ela tweeting. Yes. And we thought, oh, it would be fun just to taunt Elon and Twitter support because nobody's there. Nobody's there. Yeah. Dude, you know nobody's there. Like, let's be fucking real. There's nobody checking Twitter support. <laughs> the office is closed. And this is how I know that Elon is such a petty little fucking bitch who's doing this out of retaliation. I tagged him. He saw this in his verified mentions. And by the way, he banned it for impersonation. There's no... First of all, this is Elon's account. There's no... It's just a picture of me. There's no yeah. re evidence that this is a... Um, impersonation going on here also really there's not this is it's a just joke a fucking joke what it's, happened to comedy it's comedy haha -ha. it's just it's literally just a joke it's i a didn't joke. this isn't even what um this isn't even what ban evading is this is her account i didn't make a new account you know what i mean I I'm, yeah and i'm not alive and well. <laughs> I'm not trying to pretend to be Elon Musk or to be Ethan Klein. Dude, so... Which I, I may have wanted to, but it, w it wasn't even possible. You can't change your name. And by the way, yeah, I tried to ch <laughs> we tried to change it to Elon Musk. So that'd be the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, um... And you know, there's no... You know there's nobody there. This She got permanently banned for this fucking post yeah. in an hour. You fucking know. Wait, it was really that close, or that? Yeah, that close? Dude, it was. It was so fast. We woke up. It was so fast. He banned. <laughs> yeah. Elon and you yeah. manually did that. That's, yeah, that's the only option. It, sure. Also, it was at night. You're telling me that this is their top priority while everybody's <laughs> leaving the company. <laughs> it's on fire. It's <laughs> happening. Yeah, top bro. priority. The ban is on fire. This account <laughs> for ban. It's, it's not. It's like not even like an urgent issue. It's like one stupid. And it joke. wasn't like spam tweeting. It no. was just this. It's just I, a picture of me smiling. There was no reason. <laughs> There were no red flags. There's literally, like, first of all, I'm not surprised we're banned. No, I'm not surprised. That, we that, were laughing the whole time, yeah. having, like, a really great time. But <laughs> this is so dumb. Yeah, just to get you right to court, like, all these idiots who go, oh, he's complaining about getting banned. I'm not complaining about getting banned. I think it's funny that it happened. Obviously, there was an attempt in, like, the dumbest way possible to get banned to bait Elon. I, and he actually took the bait. It had to be him. I told Ethan, like, this is fine with me. Let's burn this account. I totally expected this. Dude, and, like, this isn't an <laughs> urgent issue. This isn't, like, a flagrant violation. The building is on fire! <laughs> and this is the top priority within hours? Also, we're a married couple. <coughs> I'm a verified influencer. This is my husband. Like... I'm not, wow, I, yeah, this is it, so dangerous. It's not. We a gotta ban evasion. this account. Yeah, so the tweet said, This is Ethan, you fucking loser, at Elon Musk, at Twitter Sport. I'm ban evading. Well, stop me now, bitch ass loser. The joke was that nobody's there, right? And But Elon's there. Of course he is. Uh, this app's been downhill. And then I did this one too suck my dick, Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> and tagged him. <laughs> and then this one, footage, uh, a footage of Twitter employees <laughs> stripping utilities from abandoned office. I thought that one was funny. Pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> and then, um, and then Ela got Ela got uh, suspended. <laughs> it's got to be him, <laughs> and it's not even really in violation. Like usually, it's not. What is the violation? Yeah. Now, now the reason I do think it's him is also because look at what he tweeted today, yeah? where he's like hate speech something. Where was it? Uh, can you go to his Twitter? Because I'm not logged in here. It's in the doc, um, number eight. Okay. 
uh, he tweeted, oh yeah, this was great. But this same, the next day, I mean, the same today. day. Yeah, today, today, he tweeted this today. He says, Kathy Griffin. Wait, go out, read the first part of yeah. it. Okay, new Twitter policy is freedom of speech, but not freedom of reach. It's like, okay, well, really innovative, bro. This is. We reached? Uh, well, it's your finish, but this, this tweet is. Neg he yeah. says, negative hate tweets will be max de-boosted and demonetized. Oh, like, yeah, demonetized. So no ads or other revenue to Twitter. You won't find the tweet unless you specifically seek it out, which is no different from the rest of the internet. Then he follows up by saying, Kathy Griffin, who was reported alongside me for being mm -hmm. banned by Elon Musk, Jordan Peterson, known tran uh, a, a transphobe. I don't know who the fuck Babylon B is or if that's a joke. I don't know what that is. Babylon B is, um, what do you call it? It's like the onion for conservatives. It's like the onion, but not funny, basically. Okay, okay. Yeah. And Trump decision not been made yet, okay, but, um, and Andrew Tate was let on, but my account is mysteriously uh, still permanently banned. Mm -hmm. And then this morning, Ela got permanently banned. You yeah. can't even really <laughs> say that we were, that I was e ban evading. It was Ela's yeah, Twitter course. account. It's arbitrary. Yeah, it's, t it's just, it was literally a joke. Well, it's it, a sounds, joke. it sounds like he's considering mine hate tweets. How is yours a hate tweet? A hate because tweet is about said, like minority. It's like uh, a hate tweet would be about like a yeah, protected no, group. Yeah, you are Elon. you are singling out a protected group, billionaires who own Twitter. Yeah. Well, okay. Just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, just as a side note, he spelled Kathy wrong and also Jordan wrong. Yeah, both of their <laughs> names. Oh, my God, right. <laughs> oh, so he's a bad speller oh, wow. too. Mm -hmm. uh, he said Jordan. <laughs> he tried to spell it out. Oh, I hate him for that. Yilong Ma is probably a better speller. <laughs> My favorite part, though, Money. is new new policy. Mm -hmm. We're going to shadow ban hate speech. Yeah, that is quite literally com the number one complaint of yeah. conservatives uh, yeah. about Twitter before he bought it. That it exactly. that is like he <laughs> specifically narrowed in on the exact thing that they were supposedly all so pissed off about. I'm going to suppress hate speech on Twitter. New policy. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I think he's like, I'm gonna... She's just, but I'm, somehow they're all buying it. Like, it's some weird psychology game that he played on them. Some of them are actually starting to turn on him, as you'll see. The next link, because uh, there there was another uh, development about who's not getting unbanned. And they're not happy about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but like, it's hard. I feel like with almost certainty that he is specifically went out of his way to ban Ela and not unban us. It's like straight up a grudge. I think it has to be because, like we said, the Twitter was like crashing last night and there was so much going on and they went out of their the way offices, to ban my account. The offices were <laughs> locked down. And it no wasn't, badge it access. wasn't like I was messing, I wasn't messing with like insulin, you know, there wasn't like some big problem with what I tweeted, except Elon Musk. <clears throat> but you gotta love that actually we were able via Twitter to actually fucking get under this 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 loser ass fucking shitty meme sink sink let this sink in Elon I got under your skin you bitch yeah got it <coughs> but we'll see maybe maybe my account will come back and then we'll be cool again um <laughs> we'll be best buds yeah we'll he's he, my best he'll friend. be friend of the show <laughs> Elon Musk is my best friend I love him um. So basically, he I've seen people. I've seen multiple people say your account is unbanned. Check again. I I, I don't know if it's like mine was just who I mine or you. They're saying Ethan's. It says your account is permanently suspended at the yeah, top. Yeah, I don't think show. so. Mine I think too. It says permanently suspended. The fake Ethan. I think they're getting. I think they're getting. Uh, yeah, no. They're getting tricked by the uh, oh, impersonators. Yeah. yeah, my account is permanently banned, and I doubt I will ever yeah. get it back. Yeah. Mine too. If yours permanently banned, then that's some fucking bullshit. It says permanently banned. Oh, it does say that. It does look. Yeah. So, so Eli it got... just updated and the, it yeah. says that. Yo, that's fucking I retaliation. You guys a screenshot. So. Dude, I have no doubt in my mind. None. None. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. So there it is. Can um, we show them my appeal? That I oh yeah, I'll pull that up. So of course, uh, Ela appealed. It was in that same uh, album with the Ela tweets. What number is it? Uh, I think it was eight. 
Uh, let me look again. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Um, six. So, um, Ela, of course, rightfully um, appealed it, as did I. I appealed mine. I said, yo, parody was in the header and the fucking description. <laughs> Ela's uh, appeal was a little different in tone. And, and then Ela rightfully appealed it. She said, they say, uh, tell us the problem you're having and we'll tell and we'll. Uh, I wrote, I posted a joke that my husband was tweeting as me last night. It was comedy at its, at its finest, in my honest opinion. <laughs> and since comedy is now legal on Twitter, can I have my account back? I'm a verified influencer. Ela Klein, look it up. Is anyone here? Hi, Elon. By the way, if you're the only person left, want to slide in my DMs? I'm a hot mail. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Thank you, they said. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so he's actually a spite banning people. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> what a, this guy's actually spending his day spite banning people on Twitter. Holy fuck. Comedy is late. And he, he actually tweeted out Comedy is legal again on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God. And he's the most pun this is the most punitive and insane Twitter has ever been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like by far. This would never happen on Twitter. I mean, he's explicitly saying that we're gonna shadow ban you if if your tweet is negative. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That tweet from today, that's what it, that's what he's saying. Super yeah. crazy. Yeah. This is what Ela says, same as mine. Your account is permanently suspended. Yeah. It's like you're telling me that I'm <laughs> Yeah, I'm ban evading on this verified user's account with a million followers. And you're permanently gonna permanently ban that one. Okay, got it. I've essentially been banned from Twitter. Like usually on that kind of thing, there's oversight. There's like, well, we gotta make sure we're in the right decision. It's clearly Elon. So anyway, continuing on. He states, and this is where the right starts to turn on him. Um, this is this is a big deal. He says, uh, "Bring Alex Jones back." What should Twitter do next? Bring Alex Jones back? He says, "No." Ooh, shit. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, are you actually on Twitter? No, I'm not logged in. Okay, because don't scroll. Because um, another funny detail about all of this is, if you recall, Elon when back earlier this year was talking about buying Twitter, his big like issue with it is that it's overrun with bots. It's yeah. all bots or whatever. His replies have never had more bots. And also, you have there's just straight up hardcore porn in his replies. <laughs> like, just, just full dick. <laughs> like, Cardi B last night posted a porn video. It was so funny. Wait, if you scroll uh, through his replies, you will, you like, will so, see. I don't remember what she said. Bunch so of porn. Twitter dying or something, and she is just yeah. like a lots of dick kind of porn. <laughs> just lots of dicks. Describe it to me, and I, I should describe it to me. <laughs> Um, maybe Ian can help me. I wasn't, I didn't have sound yeah. on. I didn't it, get to see it, I only saw a screenshot. It looked shot. like a lady on a boat. I don't know yeah. if she was singing. It was almost like a music video vibe, but yeah. it was porn too. Okay. And she was like, you know, big hair. And oh, hair there's and dicks everywhere. Okay, <laughs> yeah. cool. Cool, that's interesting. <laughs> she found some interesting stuff. It sounds like she's been waiting for this moment. Um, so here's the people's response. He's not bringing Alex Jones back. If you give freedom of speech to some, but not all, you're no different than they were. Oh my God, how could you say that? He's not different. He's worse. Way worse. But I thought you said people don't get banned. Only specific tweets that break the rules. I don't understand. Oh man. Wow, I actually disliked the Musk tweet. So you aren't for free speech. Got it. Uh, we've kind of been trying to say that. You know, it's been bullshit the whole just time, made some silly obviously. jokes, and he permanently banned both me and my wife. Uh, so <laughs> where's the free speech? This contradicts your free speech stance. I do not agree with Alex Jones, but he needs to be able to speak along with everyone else. You should try to justify your position here rather than just saying no. Exactly. Wow. That's, a, that's actually a deep thought. I mean, it's not even really a liability for them to have Alex Jones on. Like, technically, if he was wanting to do free speech, Section 230 protects him from whatever Alex mm -hmm. Jones posts there. Alex Jones would be sued personally, but Twitter wouldn't be liable. So, like, legally, I don't think there's a problem. No, there's no problem with any of it. Yeah. It's never been about that. It's always... He's sponsors. He's just catering exactly, sponsors. Exactly. And that's the thing. 
everybody thinks it's a, the woke left. <laughs> everybody who works at Twitter is the woke left. It's never been about that. It's that's corporate America, baby. Actually, like, all social medias that the right thinks is like all woke left. It's literally just people who are appeasing corporations. Yes, hundred yeah. percent across the board. That is capitalism. This but is, it's actually <laughs> worse now. Way, way. Way worse. And by the way, Cardi B posted this after the porn yeah. video she dropped. My Twitter was hacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's such a good gif. <laughs> Fuck, we missed you, Wendy. Shit. Just Peace saying. and love to Wendy Williams out there. The Hodge twins. Hodge twins. Who the cares? Hog twin. Who, the Hog twins is Why? more like it. <laughs> Seth Weathers. Didn't think you ever went to Epstein's Island. Why cave the team censorship? Wait, what does that mean? Now he thinks he did? This is cowardly. Free speech should apply to all. Oh, I agree, Sarah Scott. You know what? I say let. <laughs> I say let Alex Jones back on the website. It's free speech. And God damn it, I'm a free speech absolutist. It was free speech. Let him all back on. Why can't Twitter be a platform for everyone? Exactly. Pedophiles, Nazis, and Alex Jones. <laughs> Let them all back on. That's I why he bought Twitter. Ding dongs. That's why he bought Twitter. Make up your mind about free speech then. You're being inconsistent and obviously feeling the heat from advertisers to not unban Trump and Jones. I love how these people are just so cool with him losing $44 billion. But he, obviously, they're like, yeah, bro, you got it. But he's an idiot. He fucking did this to himself. Yeah. yeah. And that's the kind of the point we made from the day one. Is Trump still not back or is he back? It no, just, and he, yeah, in that announcement tweet with Jordan Peterson, the yeah. follow-up was like, still haven't uh, made a decision on Trump. He, right. He's going to unban him, yeah. obviously. I don't know, because not sure. cause Trump has talked a lot of shit about Elon, and as we know, he is very <laughs> thin-skinned, so yeah. I don't, I, I Elon think, doesn't like Trump. I think Elon's more about having people on Twitter, so I think it's more of a thing with advertisers where he's like, they're like, if you bring Trump back, that's going to be a problem for us. I think there might be a little bit of that. Right. I think he's at this, like, junction of, like, do you save lots of people or your girlfriend, like, from Spider-Man? <laughs> right. He's like, the my ego, track. my ego yeah. here or my ego here because I want a lot of people on the platform. Right, right. The train track uh, 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 paradox. But then Trump doesn't get along with me, so keep him banned. Trump called me a dumb idiot. <laughs> Ban him. Uh, so all those uh, statements regarding free speech were just blowing smoke. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's exactly <laughs> no right. No way. That's actually fucking right on, brother. Um, Twitter is a rat hole, though. So, like, <laughs> again, I'm not I'm not upset at all not to be on there. It's actually hey. pretty nice. Uh, I've been in, I go on there to see like what's trending, but I spend way less time on there. It's it's very it's actually it's really good. nice. Good yeah. to you. Um, bonus, actually. And a nice follow-up. We know that you're passionate about bad tattoos. Mm -hmm. Dan, can you get a picture of all the bots uh, with the? Does with Elon have shit? a bad tattoo? Uh, yeah. It's an Elon Musk tattoo. It's not on Elon okay. Musk. So, here you rate this for us. Um, check it out. Oh. Wait, hold on. I gotta mute this. Wait, here. It, it was in the dock. Actually, you skipped over it. Oh my okay. God. Well, let me look at this first. Okay. Free speech. Not with the free speech. <laughs> He's got no. Are you kidding me? Boring company with the Twitter. <laughs> Neuralink, Tesla, wow. actually. Free speech, huh? How did he? Oh my God. Free speech. I feel bad for this person. <laughs> so delusional. Free speech. Four twenty. I also wonder why is, why is tar coming out of his mouth? I think I I, hmm. I saw some others from the same artist, and all of them have that. So I think that's uh. just kind of like a signature thing he does. The the wild thing is, it's like. That tattoo artist is really good. Really fucking yeah. good. Like, yeah, the art. I'm sorry, but good luck ever getting a date again, no, bro. No, <laughs> impossible. The art is really great, but this guy, whoever he is, I feel really bad for him. Also, he's he's either has pink eyes or extremely blazed. He's supposed to be high. <laughs> which, oh uh, yeah, from the Joe Rogan. Yeah, he's blazed yeah. up, dude. Free speech, bro. <laughs> the art is like amazing. The execution of this. Yeah, somebody, horrible taste, great execution. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Blaze, 420, free speech, bro. Free speech. Hey, you said a mean joke. Permanently banned. Free speech, bro. Here, just real quick. So here is, so, so yeah. Here's Elon. Um, well, what's the tweet? Show the, the, the mother tweet. Oh, I didn't screenshot that. It was, it was the, uh, it was the one last night about, um, 
uh, what do you call it? Can you um, make it bigger? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta zoom on that. So he bought one of the main reasons he bought Twitter is because to get rid of the bots. Yeah. So, so here's his here's his replies. <laughs> so yeah, I went and like he had just tweeted. I, I forget which one it was, but one of the tweets, and I scrolled down and I verified. saw this. <laughs> it's verified <laughs> at Elon Musk. Wow. Well, this is just a screenshot. Oh, they're posting the screenshot. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a bunch. It says. Thanks a million. Yeah, Spelled wrong. The screenshot says, I decided to randomly choose 1,000 new followers who can participate to the biggest crypto giveaway. Hurry up. <laughs> Tesla-grant.repel.co. Yeah, it seems very authentic. So scroll down. Yeah, look at this. It was just... This is his replies. <laughs> <laughs> it's just endless. <laughs> <laughs> like, I couldn't... This is the widest I could get it on my screen. It, there was plenty more of it, too, but just... Uh, the, the bot war does not seem to have gone too well. Have so you far. guys seen, I saw somebody in the chat just say it, and I started seeing it last night on Twitter. People are saying that he faked his degrees. Have you guys seen about so that? So I saw that too. It's just this random Reddit thread. Uh, I, I'm curious. I'm kind of waiting to see more. I mean, because I don't really, yeah. It doesn't really, I don't really care. It's not like he, he owns all of his companies. It doesn't matter what his credentials are. Right, but uh, it had something to do with... It he, is pretty pathetic to lie about your credentials, yeah. you know. Well, it's Just more than that. It. It's because he is... Uh, he it was. I, I assume he is now, but at the time was not a U.S. citizen, and so hmm. his visa was contingent on him being in school, and apparently he uh, dropped out at some point and never actually got the degrees and then lied about his degrees on his application for his hmm. work visa. Um, Yo, that'd be epic if Trump becomes president and spites ex spite, deports Spite him. deports <laughs> because, Elon. Like, because, you know, traditionally someone like Elon Musk would have no problem retaining their uh, citizenship. Even right. Even uh, if they lied on their papers. But Trump as president probably could deport him. Yeah, see, so Capitol Hunters post about it. They have all the receipts. Yeah, I, I saw the thread. It's very interesting. I, I'm going to wait for something a little bit more... It would be pretty than, dumb to... Than um, a Twitter thread to pick up on the story. I mean, I, I I'm inclined to believe it because he he is a fraud. It's very but, believable, yeah. Uh, yeah. It would be pretty see. dumb to deport the richest man in the world, and despite him paying a very low, uh, I don't think that would money, happen. That would yeah be be not. You'd be losing some tax there. Mm -hmm. Um. So there it is. That's the story. That's um, it. That, Still I mean, developing. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, again, just in summary, I don't see any other possible reason that Elon got permanently suspended other than Elon Musk saw those tweets and acted on it. <laughs> There's no way that. Night, what was I doing wrong? Because the thing was, I mean, what's wrong with my it, tweet? Nothing. I'm gonna do nothing. my devil's advocate thing right now. The one tweet that said specifically said the phrase "I am ban evading." Uh, uh, is it ban evading or it's is it a, a joke? joke though. I, like that I'm not actually doing the action of It's Ela's verified impersonating. Account a million That's the only thing I can think of in any of those tweets that I could point to and be like maybe this is why their justification. No, they did it for ban evading. They sent the the message. Well, there you go. Yeah. Mm. But but like what is the chance that he that we get banned at like 3 a.m. The morning of Twitter having an absolute crisis. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody's I'm, locked out. The doors are closed. Elon reads his replies yeah, and, and looks Twitter. at his tab. Uh, so I, I am I'm inclined to agree with you guys that he probably saw it. There which you go. Is Steve, extremely. Funny. You were poo pooing the idea at first, but I think I convinced you. Yeah, I I think that there's a decent chance that he saw Someone it. Someone says you are ban evading. How are we ban evading? That's Elon's account. She, all she did was post a picture of me and a joke. How was that ban evading? I didn't make literally, a new account. It's literally comedy. It's I mean, a fucking joke. <laughs> it's literally not legal. ban evading. Comedy is legal. It's, it's Ela's account. She made a joke. Ban evading would be me making a new account and posting from it. That was a fucking joke. Right. It's not ban evading. Ela tweeted that shit. It's a joke. And I was even confident. I was like, no way we're going to get suspended because there's like nobody left at Twitter. And then when I woke up in the morning and it was banned, I was like, oh, wow, Elon really is pathetic. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I, it's not ban evading. It's just not. Probably automated. How the fuck are you going to say automated? There's no shot that was automated. You just put ban evading and then they ban you? There's no shot. There's literally 0%. On my personal trending, Elon's number one. Oh. It is? Mm-hmm. That was a new picture. About unban Elo? I, I don't I think so, it. yeah, it just says Elo. They better fear Elo! You better, you better fear Elo. I don't see it on mine. 
How many tweets uh, uh, does it have under it? Uh, 1,600. Let's go. What does it say on there? I mean, maybe somebody can get him to answer the question. It's j it's probably like quartering. Because he, he does like people interact with random tweets. I'm sure if he saw the Teddy Fresh shirt, he probably has been waiting for something. <laughs> oh, you yeah, think maybe. he saw that? Maybe you're right. Maybe, but still, technically... It's a joke. It's a joke. And yeah. Te technically, people. the rules should apply even if I talk shit about him. Oh, hold on. We have breaking... Uh, message from Rory Hicks who says Elon has led to the death of millions of mole people. Oh. If Elon calls for war, we will be there with our drill lances, says Rory Hicks of the mole people. Shout out to the mole people. He's Rory and the mole people. Her well, the boring company support. is a natural, a natural enemy of the oh. mole people. Mm. He's not a lot of damage. on their sovereignty. Yeah, a lot of damage. <laughs> I'm just, Hi. you know, I've turned on Elon. Big time, as a have lot of you. people have. I just returned my Tesla. Let's go. The first car. Holy support that. The Smell first nice car I ever got was a Tesla Model S a long ass time ago, right when they were still kind of a fresh thing. Mm -hmm. Drove that for three years. Then we got an X, drove that for three years, just returned it. You know, I was pretty dedicated, but I swapped it out. I, and I'll tell you for sure, that's the last Tesla I'm going to be driving. Yeah, I mean, at least for now. And by the way... The, while he's in charge, which might not be the case another year or two from now. I don't think Tesla's going to last. Because the BMW that we leased, which is the... Oh yeah, AB says he's had a Cybertruck reserve. Me too. They just stole fucking 100 bucks yeah. from everyone. I wonder if I, I, I could have told you that at the time. In fact, I think I did. Like, can we get it back? <laughs> I don't know. I there, saw, was a, there was a time when I think you could, but I, I think that program's over. That's got to be illegal. <laughs> yeah, there's it totally... seems very questionable. I, I saw Fraud. people canceling their, their order. Yeah, I do I believe there was, there was a window yeah. to uh, withdraw your pre-order, but I think you're, you're locked in now, so... Mm, that's fraud, bro. <laughs> I need evidence that you guys are actually making it. Money! It was supposed Money. to come out like three years ago now. Yeah. Right? Wasn't it like 2019 is when you could reserve, and I think it's supposed to come out. It was supposed to come out 2020. So yeah. two years, what two years asshole. behind schedule. Well, it's almost three years now. Um, so yeah, let's watch these clips. So Chappelle was doing a show in San Francisco, and I what I assume is happening is that him and Elon Musk are buddies, because they both yeah. are like we're cool, we're important, let's chat. Uh, They've been like photoed together. Before I believe, yeah, them and Joe Rogan, hanging yeah, with out Rogan times, and stuff, yeah. and like, yeah. And the thing is, like, <laughs> they're tight. Elon Musk is not cool in any way. It's like this weird fetishization of of this extraordinarily well wealth. I mean, he is like a king, right? Modern day king, and more like a like a powerful duke. Yeah, not a king. He's a duke. Some the Duke of Dutch Turd. Man. Oh, got him. Duke, uh, Duke, Duke, Duke of turn. Dude. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and so he's buddy Chappelle, who's this great comedian. There's nothing less funny than becoming besties with Elon Musk, who's by all accounts the one, one of the best pers people to satirize in our society today. He's making a public spectacle of, him, of himself. He treats his workers like shit. Like he's known for treating his workers like shit, being anti-union. And um, yet here you are being so buddied up with him that he invited him. He said, come up, come with me backstage on the show and join me on stage. For what reason? What was his goal? I'm sincerely confused by it. I genuinely think Elon or I think Chappelle thought Elon was this absolute force that everyone was just going to lose their mind and be this great moment but there's no plan and and Chappelle just leaves him out there too he's like <laughs> he could have been like all right thanks say, say, he says hi he goes but he left his house out there taking tomatoes for like 10 minutes <laughs> it's brutal. it was crazy and you know I think they're friends and stuff and he wanted to do a nice moment for Elon but what happened is Chappelle actually subjected him to like a mass public flogging and Chappelle also looks Based. terrible. 
Yeah, it was based. <laughs> Unintentionally based. But Chappelle also looks like a fucking hack, you know? Yeah, big time. Well, and what he said is worse than anything Elon said <clears throat> once he was up there. What did he, well, which part? I mean, we're going to watch it. But we're going to watch it. I'll, I'll point it out. They're the, the canceled besties. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, dude, the, it's just that relationship is so unfunny. Yeah, I'm I'm homies with the richest man in the world, and on the weekends I hang out with Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. We're all dogs. Anyway, let me joke about society, trans people. Yeah, that's what he means by fuck trans people. Anyway, <laughs> uh, trans people are the big problem in society. Anyway, let's go let's go um take a yacht, Elon. Let's go take a a yacht to Epstein's island. Epstein, baby. <laughs> Okay, whatever. There he is. <laughs> so here it is. Uh, and so the rumor is... Now, Chappelle, he has a policy where he doesn't allow people to film him live. Uh -huh. So somebody posted this on Twitter, and the word on the street is that it was removed. Yeah, uh, that turns out to have been... Pretty thoroughly debunked, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because people were like, oh, Elon, what a what a coward. He's yeah. like censoring this or whatever. And I was already suspicious of that because it was like all over Twitter. And it's like, why would deleting one? Well, just but, to um, rebut that, once it's kind of a runaway once it's out trend, there, there's out no there. point. To the, the, uh, the debunking was that people thought that um, that account uh, uh, had it deleted or was banned for posting that um the wording of the error message that comes up when you pull up the account is what it shows when somebody deactivates their account and so what i think is much more likely is they posted it and they were getting the musk fanboys jumping down his throat scary exactly like legitimately like probably you know, we'll, we'll get death threats you know like what level. it probably happened would be f would be enough to scare just like an ordinary citizen into deleting it is like dave Chappelle's going to sue you you leaked he knows who you are right. and you're like oh fuck i don't want to exactly that so i believe that they just uh, pulled the plug but people had already ripped it it was all over youtube at that point it's out so um but yeah i don't think musk went out of his way to to try and delete it off the internet yeah, Chappelle hating trans people and hanging out with billionaires is like the least funny shit ever. Yeah. Someone commented, Chappelle's a huge divider for people in their 30s. Either you love him still or you hate him or you think he's a devil now. Yeah, and I think that's true. I mean, it's it's tough. Like I said on a previous It's not show, like, like that I, for me. It's just, he's just a disappointment. It's like, why? it's not funny. You're just, you used to be funny. Yeah. And making fun of marginalized groups and being besties, trying to whitewash Elon Musk is like sad shit. And that's you're you're bootlicker. And that is the thing. It's like, you know, I'll give more space. I'm not so sensitive <laughs> that uh, you can't joke about those things at all or whatever. Uh, but I think that last special that he did in particular, like that whole series of specials that he did on Netflix where it was causing all the controversy, in the first one, it was like a 10 minute bit that he did on like trans people or whatever that got him in some hot water. And in the second one, because he got hot water for it, he turned it into like a 30 minute bit. By the last one, it was like the whole special and it's not even a comedy special anymore. It's just him like bitching for an hour. I can't say, it's all about like, fr oh, I can't say anything. Yeah. Freedom of speech. And it's like there was a couple jokes and even every once in a while some of them were funny, but it just legitimately, it wasn't a good comedy special bro we talked about it when it happened yeah. for me it's like it's just not funny and i see you're doing the same material now yeah like i get it man it's been you years know? it's just years of the like the one topic that you talk about it's just it's i like, thought it was super weird how he like tokenized his trans friend who like had unalived herself i forget all the details of that but that did seem very gross what he was trying to how he was trying to spin that i had one trans friend so y'all don't know what you're talking about. Uh, anyway, whatever. That's that's neither here nor there. Here's the clip. Well, it is here and there, but we're over it. So here's the clip. <laughs> I don't want to hurt. Thank you for make some noise for the richest man in the world. So again, that's like, that's the value. That's what he sees him. He's the richest man in the world, and that alone merits adoration i guess i mean i'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people do think that so mm -hmm. 
But Dave Chappelle is supposed to be like more nuanced than that. That's so awesome. <laughs> this is where this is what you become, bro. Like it's so great. He's literally just getting booed. Imagine just like two years ago. What a different like if this exact thing had happened two years ago. Love. Just like thunderous applause. It'd be kind of random. You. I mean, it'd be random, but like I don't think there was that neg any I loved him. degree of that. I mean, lots of people loved him, and even if you didn't, it would just be, oh, that's cool. Oh, Elon Musk of all people, he's here. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, but, Dave usually brings people out randomly, so I feel like Sure, yeah. You know, yeah, and he just kind of, I think he's just trying to riff and create a moment, but wow. So. I don't know if it's uh, confirmed or not, but people in chat were saying that Hassan said um, that he was trying to get his friend unbanned on Twitter. You say what? For what? I don't know. That's just what. Wait, what are you talking about? That That's why he brought Elon out. Chappelle was trying to get a friend, a personal friend of his how unbanned. Can he that's that? a theory that's going. That um, How can he know that? They're homies. He just say, yo, I'm banned my friend. Why would we have to bring him out on stage? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. If that was his motive, his friend's staying banned. <laughs> it didn't work. Not getting any favors after this. Uh, <laughs> oh, there is. There's articles about this. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> tomatoes. That's not true. Weren't expecting this, were you? You weren't expecting me. You weren't expecting me to be the victim of hate crimes. He's like, yeah, you see what it's like to be me. It's me. It's so difficult. I tried to tell you. The people you fired are in the audience. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. Hi. Those of you who are. We can't even continue. It's Respect like the, uh, the determination to boo his ass. <laughs> Incredible. Unrelenting. No, so awesome, the people that did that, legitimately. Like, public shaming of billionaires should be far more common. You see that video of Bill Gates getting up high in the face? Yeah, we were just talking about it yeah. <laughs> earlier today, yeah. But that was back in the day when before he was, like, universally hated. Or maybe he was hated back then, I don't know. Someone pied him in the face so hard. The, the news coverage of it, too, was kind of like propaganda in that they were like this cowardly uh, attempt from hitmen to come pie. To hitmen? Yeah, yeah, I got it. home. It was a poisoned split. pie. Yeah. They just cream pied him in the face. North Korea <laughs> should start assassinating people like that. Just put some crazy-ass nerve agent in a pie so that they actually die from getting pied <laughs> in the face. That'd be awesome. That's way to go. What are you going to do with those pies, boys? Quite a way to go. Um, what is this? That's the pie in the face. You Should I watch the, this? You gotta hear the lead up to it though. Can I watch this, you think? It's fine, right? It's just a pie in the face. Yeah, but you gotta hear the, the intro. That's the timestamp. Meet him first with a pie in the face. <laughs> Dude, the follow through on that was super impressive. That was a banger pie to the face. He's meant the target was Microsoft chairman. By the way, I'm not in favor of anything like this. That's, I mean, this is physical violence. I know it's a pie in the face, but you're still hitting someone. It's not good. Gates arriving for a meeting with community leaders. Watch what happens when a team of hitmen meet him first with a pie in the face. Yeah. Uh, I think he, he, thought, he probably shaken. thought it was something else. 
Yeah, it's disorienting. They just yeah. like come out of nowhere. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't support that. I disavow this in the greatest terms possible. It's not cool. It's not funny. We disavow this, right, Dan? Uh, Ian, throw it up. Oh, do we have one here? Throw it up. According to SF Gate, Chappelle asked Musk if he could unban Kuali from social media platform. With reporter Gabe Lemon writing, Kuali was standing five feet away from Musk during the request. So the Twitter CEO didn't have much choice but to agree. So wait, who is this guy? He's, uh, he's, he's a rapper. He's a rapper. I had to Why leave was he banned? Uh, I don't he know was banned for name. harassing specifically one woman, but there were previous instances on Twitter of him harassing women. And um, was he unbanned? Not yet. There you go. It's at, at the end of the article, it said, we don't know what's going to happen. Not after those booze. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> he was Maybe he's perma banned for now. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's about to be banned. Uh -huh. I guess Elon isn't for free speech after all. Tough on the head, I can sound like. But well, you know, there's one thing. All those people are booing, and I'm just, I'm just pointing out the obvious. They have terrible seats. The worst approach, right? Because first of all, it's not coming from the back. And second of all, the you know what the cheapest tickets cost? The the ones he says, oh, these poor bitches who hate rich people, I guess. 300 bucks was the cheapest ticket. These people fucking paid to watch his ass. Look at you poor fuckers. Elon Musk is worth a million of this stadium. I'm Elon Musk. I believe it was closer to 200, but still. 200, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Chappelle's brilliant comeback. Put in the context. Here, we got, we got context. We're breaking this down, guys. Chappelle's brilliant comeback here. Best comedian live, even still, some people insist. Should be put into the context that the cheapest seats for this show were $176. The only ones that remained are under 200, so... Okay, that's what I said, kind of. Yo, wait, what? He, this is what it looked like? Why does it look so fucking empty? The show must have not started, right? Mm. What? This is empty. There's no way. Yeah, this must have been... Why is everyone crowding at the front? The pit. Yeah, the pit might be a GA. This is definitely, yeah, this is... Before there's before no after. way dude. Look how empty it is. I'm sure he sells out stadiums. Oh, yeah Okay. All right, let's watch Listen. Whatever. Look, this nigga is not even trying to die on earth Dude, and I love how Elon doesn't even know what to do. Chappelle's not helping him at all. He's just standing there, and he's already awkward. Mm -hmm. He asked him at one point, Dave, what do I do? Yeah, he's, he, he wants to get out of there. His whole business model is fuck Earth. I'm leaving anyway. Do all you want. Take me with you, nigga. I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Whatever kind of pussy they got up there, that's what we'll be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Gravity Titty Bars Follow your dreams, bitch, and the money just flow all over the room. Thanks for having me on stage. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't miss this opportunity. Yeah. The first comedy club on Mars. That should be mine. A deal's a deal, Musk. <laughs> no, yeah. You niggas can fool me once. This no, nigga yeah. gave me a jetpack last Christmas. What did he say here? He said, you motherfuckers can boo all you want. He bought me a jetpack for Christmas. Oh, yeah. No. Not even a joke, though. It's funny. He's like, he could do a lot for me. Yeah. You niggas can boo all you want. This nigga gave me a jetpack. 
fly right past your house. Nigga, boo these nuts. We gonna fly them out of your pack. That's how we like to chill. We do ball and shit. He's sitting too. Elon's got to stand there while he sits. Don't say nothing. Okay. It'll only spoil the moment. Do you hear that sound, Elon? That's the sound of pending civil unrest. I can't wait to see That's the sound of the people that will string you up, <laughs> Elon, and decapitate you in the street. Isn't that funny? I don't know what he's trying to do here. Is he trying to comfort him? That's the sound of people that will come into your home at night and hogtie you. <laughs> Tar and feather you. They're not happy out there, Elon. They're suffering. And they paid $200 to come watch this shit. In fact, get, get extra security tonight, Elon. Next, motherfucker. You, you shut the fuck up with your boobs. Oh. There's something better than you can do. Booing is not the best thing you can do. Try it, nigga. You sure? Fuck you, so I am your ally. I wish everybody in this auditorium peace and the joy of feeling free. This is so crazy. Like, he's literally, Except he hasn't people. said shit. It's five minutes in. Yeah, literally. He goes, everybody feels free. And his, like, big thing is that he's really prejudiced against trans people. Not the, not you. Not you. Everyone else, though. Not like that. Not like, that's not <laughs> what I meant. Um... But, he, God, he's put Elon into the most awkward situation probably of his life. <laughs> and he's just using him like a prop. It's kind of epic, actually. Yep. Love this. Your pursuit of happiness make you happy. Amen. Thank you very much, San Francisco. Good, Thanks Elon. You. Great job, bud. Killed it. Like you. Good night. As you can. It's funnier what he was saying. Dude, they fucking set him up. There we go. That, first of all, was so bad. <sighs> so bad. You know, <sighs> it didn't even sound like the thing. <laughs> I'm big, big. I'm big, big. Like, uh, hey, you guys. <laughs> his wind, his physical wind up to it is what oh, gets me. Yeah, it's, it's it's a beautiful bad. dance. It's bad. <laughs> That's the worst <laughs> ever. How do you? You know what I think? If that that hard. You know what I think? Here, let me type it, and you guys tell me if this is funny or if I shouldn't say it. Oh, uh, it's uh, probably not. No, well, no, well, well here, let me, let me, I'll type it. I'm just conf I'm just consult. Dan, get a disavow ready. Yeah, I'm typing it up. Well, hold on, read it first. So I'm going to the, I'm going to you guys. I just typed the joke. Yeah, definitely not. Nope, that would be a uh... really not good. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, good. I'm reasons, glad I I'm asked because I was really close to saying. Yeah, well, well I, I'm. You, is I'm it proud really of you that bad? For for yeah. messaging first. That's yeah, progress. that's improving. Yeah. Hey. But I'm I'm almost confused that you guys think it's so bad. Well, I'll explain it to you after the show. Because it's kind of like you know putting it on up on its head in a way. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think just right. too risky. Exactly. <laughs> too. I felt it was risky. I felt it, it was. It wasn't risky. hateful. It was risky. Well, whatever it is, I asked. So right. that was good. I felt like, mm. but yeah, it just doesn't seem that bad to me. What do you think, Cam? Did you read it? I think it's a no. I definitely think it's a no. Oh, shit. I think, okay. I think so, there's a, a million jokes in your head, and you can just move on to the next one. You know what I mean? Damn, that's God crazy. Damn. <laughs> I, I really genuinely thought, like, it was funny. I'm, I'm usually one to toe the line, but I think it's not worth okay, it. Okay, let me ask you this. Is it funny? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think I would have wow. Not even, really. Yeah, really. I mean, I see what you're doing, but yeah. The audience doesn't know what we're talking about. So they have no idea, but it's, I'm sure it's interesting. I'm sure they're dying to know. But you guys will not ever know. Yeah, so he's going to have to live with that moment forever. 
I don't think you could find someone to do a worse I'm rich bitch too. It, it's yeah. Also not it's such funny. a softball, and he he still missed. I don't know. Also not funny when you are the richest person in the world. Right. I underpay and discriminate and don't let my workers unionize, bitch. <laughs> I literally bought Twitter for like 47 billion in cash. He hits a diva pose when he pulls the mic up and it, it hurts a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's so bad. He looks like he's, like, the wind-up looks like he's a pitcher in the World yeah, Series. Like, yeah, let's go back and watch the wind-up. Sometimes it's okay to say no, Elon. You know what I mean? Like, just say no. Looks like he's in, like, bottom of the ninth. <laughs> like he's winding it up, man. Like... About to throw a strike on my life. Seriously. You look angry. Are you angry that I even suggested it, Dan? No. Okay. Not at all. We're proud. No, I'm proud of you. We're what very are you proud. About? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Ethan Klein, everybody. Let's give Ethan give a round of applause. Yeah, no, I'm the awesome. Ethan, That's our boss. Ethan, you should try that. Oh, try what? Wait. I'm Rich Bish? Yeah. I just did it. I missed it. Wind it up. I'm bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to read what's on Elon's shirt. <laughs> trying to read what's on Elon's shirt. It says Twitter something. I think it says Twitter is awesome. Yes, it uh, does. It's <laughs> first one to say that. Super, super cool. <laughs> Even listen, you can't convince anyone of that. I don't Even care. Jordan Peterson <laughs> knows that it's, it's a, a rat, rat hole. hole. Oh, the Twitter's a rat hole. Best take he ever had. Rats will dance for money if you pay them. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not sure about that one, Jordan. Twitter's a rat hole. There it is. I'm a Wow. Yeah, it's not air horn worthy. I'm sorry. Talib Kweli, my good friend. <laughs> is currently banned from Twitter. Did Elon just like come from a dental procedure? Like, is his mouth numb? Is that why he can't uh, say rich? Yeah, he's just weird. Kweli is the rapper. So he really trying to get his friend unbanned. Mm -hmm. Customer service right here. Uh, we'll get right on that. So it's customer service because there's no one left. <laughs> he does everything. He goes, he goes, uh, what did you do? Well, I stalked, I threatened women, I may have leaked uh, sexual content of them, uh, uh, the revenge porn. He's like, great, that's we'll all take allowed care now. Of that. We'll take care of that. Great, that's as long all as you fine. didn't impersonate me. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that is soundbite gold. Could it be a contender? I don't know. Let's see what happens. We don't have a lot of time. It's a late, late yeah, entry, but have only like two days. Then you should be on Twitter. If you let me tell you something. Wait, radio, where's your phone? Listen. Years ago, this is true. I'll tell you two quick Twitter scores, then we'll go home. Years ago. I went to love on the Twitter. I put my name in. Yeah, whatever, right? Is yeah, it yeah, whatever. Okay, whatever. <laughs> hey guys, I have some breaking news. Ethan, you just got banned, unbanned from Twitter. Really? I didn't hear. What? Yeah, you got okay. unbanned from Twitter. Hold on, hold on. It's true. What, did my dick come out or something? What happened? I think he said you're unbanned from Twitter. Wait, are you serious? Yes, dude, what? you're unbanned. Oh. Really? Yes. Wait, how do you guys it's know not. that? I'm on your Twitter right now, dude. There it is. Oh, Let's go. go. <laughs> Whoa! Oh Wait, hold on. God. First thing I need to do Change is your name. I need to change my name. <laughs> Cause, okay, this wait, it says I have 65 followers. Oh my god. Yeah. Wait, what? Ethan, oh, look behind you. Ah! <laughs> get the get that away from me. Wait, it's restarted my follower account. What? I think it's gonna repopulate. It's gonna come back. Elon Ma. What the fuck? Elon Ma would never do this to me. What about mine? But do you guys see that? It says I have 200 followers. <laughs> it's gonna come back, I think. 
Twitter's a fucking a rat hole. <laughs> Elon Musk is such a little bitch. A little fucking hater Why ass Twitter bitch. Why Twitter is insane. Fuck Elon Musk. Fuck Elon Musk. Fuck Elon Musk. Fuck Elon Musk. Hey, uh, it does appear. Go ahead and put it on screen. Check it out. Well, you know my first tweet back's got to be... Get to you. Get to you. Look at the screen, guys. Elon. Hold on, let me change. I'm just going to change my name to Money. Elon. Money. Oh, mine is back, too. Yes, ma'am. Okay, hold yes, on. Sir. I'm going to oh change my, my name right now to Elon Musk. What is Musk. it? I have one follower? <laughs> I got to change it to Elon Musk. Um, right. And then uh, Elon Musk, CEO... Of Twitter, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta put it back <laughs> far enough so people don't see it. CEO of Twitter and Tesla, and then in parentheses, parody, so it's far back so people don't see it. Twitter's a rat hole. Oh, it says I can't. Oh. Okay, wait. Can you not change your name? I'm trying. It says I can't put Twitter in my name. Like, excuse me, what fucking Why? rat hole rules is this? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Elon Musk, CEO, Tesla, parody. Let's do our first tweet. Let's do a video of the audience. Here's the tweet you pressed. <laughs> Fuck Elon Musk! <laughs> Fuck you, Elon Musk, you suck! <laughs> okay, we gotta redo that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs>